Hey, loaded! We are back. Final Fantasy XIV. Finally. Uh, also, I did check my retainers. That's why I'm not standing right in front of Aaron well, like I did last time. Uh, yeah, because I'm usually not, at least currently, not playing this game of stream. Because we got more than enough other stuff to do than just taking care of like daily stuff in this game. So yeah. <laughs> I'm being a lot more casual with this game like since of, like for almost a year now. So yeah. But we wanna go on the long road for Jacques Dura. Of course. If you actually like finished with our contest for like the front of the dawn servant which Lamati got along with Kohana so they're doing the two pair thing which I recall from the very beginning of this game uh, or like of not this game of the story because it was like quite obvious to the setup uh, Kohana to be like Second, or like pair to be, they said cup corner to be paired out there with Lamati. Um, so yeah, but we also have seen uh, Zora ja still doing some like shenanigans in the background. He also, at least it looked like he assassinated Cat and Rum. Not sure if he's actually dead yet or not because they haven't con seen the confirmed death of his. Um, but yeah, at least our party in Lamati is still unaware of these events. Also, the soldier uh, apparently has made a pact with someone in the like golden city, which you don't even still do not know what there's actually behind that one like sealed door. But hey, you get just gonna take it easy, go to Shark Durel, don't even mind anything still going on here. Because we are blissfully unaware. At least our characters are. Are ready to get underway? Yes, we are ready. Then present your trail pass to the guard and let us be off. You won't have to wait long to enjoy sightseeing. The bridge of Jacques Tural is a wonder in its own right. Aaron. The gate is prepared to save all those who've expressed permission from one of the dawn servants. Same by Wow Wuklama herself. My apologies, miss, if you would wait here just a moment. I actually wonder how many people have like been going in and out of the like further skate ever since we started this expansion. Shall we then? Yes, we shall. Louder for myself. This should be fine. On the far side of that great bridge spirals? unfolded the wilds of Shalom, where the sun guides. Oh, no, those are chimneys. A harsh guide, to be sure, with its blazing rays scorching the land and hardening its inhabitants. But sweeping change had come to the arid expanse when, beneath its red crust, vast deposits of cerulean were discovered. Embracing this opportunity, Vau Kona supporters hurt along, driven by dreams of a future illuminated by blue flame. 
It is here that our journey continues, our path taking us along wending roads of steel, each length of track a declaration of hope and ambition. This is literally the area where they get their, like, most of the energy from, I guess. Ever since, like, three years ago. My home, Yasulani, lies past Shaloni. It will be a long journey, but the railroad should make it easier. Hmm, there's a train here, or? <laughs> As for the way to the train station, let's ride these fellows, shall we? They have a lot of interesting like animals to ride on. Hmm, also should immediately like check for any kind of like either compass. Uh, but you don't know if so right at the train station already, I would guess. Shot on Runic. I'm, I'm just gonna pronounce it as a Runic. I'm not sure if it's right though. Fredzo, if only uh, uh, if one will suffice, have a creature ready and waiting. But if you need two, then we have to wait. We have our own mode, so we should be fine. The Unique have been acting strangely of late, more easily spooked and otherwise disagreeable. <laughs> Picking out a few fit for rendings, brewing buffer some work. The yeah, Lucy is a docile, and the ones I saw earlier didn't appear to be unhealthy either. But much has changed since last I was here. Not the best start of our journey. Still, the train station isn't far. Seeing as we are in a hurry, let's go on foot. About that, sir. As well traveled as you look, it's not only the Runique that have been giving us trouble. Other wildlife have shown signs of aggression too. A merchant should be returning soon with one of our bees. Stick around till they do, and they will see you both on Runique for a safer trip. You have us most appreciated, but I don't think my friend here is particularly concerned about the wildlife. Hmm. <laughs> but the Runic Earl, the Runic. I like this answer the most out of these three, to be honest. <laughs> if it is your first time in Sh Shaloani, I already forgot how you pronounce it. I can understand your enthusiasm. It would be a shame not to ride on at least once while you're here. A fair point. If we were to give you the authentic Charlani experience, I suppose it's worth the wait. Alright, change of plans. There's a small town nearby. We can pass the time there while waiting. Tell you you're heading to Woodsata Viden. I will have a man bring the Renook over there. Just bind yourself around the trunk guards and troublemakers, eh? Lots of words I stumble over, like when it comes to pronunciation. But hey, the horrors games are like are as troubling with Chinese pronunciation. <laughs> Ever fourteen starting to do that with. I'm not even sure which country of origin they're like taking inspiration from for like all the naming stuff. I would suspect maybe something like Ivra South. American? Or... Uh, African? I'm not too sure, really. Kind 
Can I get like up here? There? Oh, I can't just. I could just take the stairs. Of course I could. It is already drawn. Last time I was here, it was a little more than a camp with a shop of Ray. I like this cactuar billboard there. Well, well. It's become a proper town. It gives me, not gonna lie, some western style. Like, um, cowboys and stuff. Getting a lot of these now, vibes. Especially with, like, the measurements going on here. They're really going for the cowboy vibes. <laughs> some Don't tell me they're too. Don't tell me they're, like, gonna do, like, uh, a shootout. Talking to you, you old bastard. <sighs> Give me strength. For the last time, the investigation is closed. There's no refuting the evidence. I don't give a shit about your evidence, you lying scum. You release my friends, or I'll make you wish you had. <sighs> Let me remind you who the scum is here. Your hmm. friends, who had the temerity to point their firearms at me, the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. And after taking them into custody, what should we discover but incontrovertible proof that they had committed larceny? They will not be released until they've paid for their crimes. I'd heard the peacekeeping force had been formed to deal with growing lawlessness. Seems the situation is bad indeed. Still can't get up a fuss, eh? Sounds like poor Zekua needs his bottle. Did <laughs> Jerry wouldn't prefer his mama's tea? <laughs> <laughs> Treat me like a child, will you? My friends haven't done anything wrong, dammit! They've been framed! Oh, stubborn little runt. Uh, listen here, Zekoa. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you'd best comport yourself like one. That means respecting the rule of law. Mm, I'm not sure if, like, the, 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 the Dust Watch, I think, is what they call it. Um, it's like that clean themselves. He definitely, he definitely seems to enjoy to use his authority, let's say it like that. Order may be precarious here in Shaloni, but it can be had if each man does the right thing. And for those that don't, well, they have to answer to the Dust Watch. Now run along and think before you cast aspersions next time. I also feel like he's like mm, not really trying to listen to uh, like to this dude. He's like framing. Lest you hurt my feelings. Yeah, I don't trust this guy already. Fine, but that's how it's gonna be. I wouldn't if I were you. 
Estenian! I already was wondering where he was going. There's a time to fight and a time to withdraw. For you, that's now. What? Hey! What are you doing, Zekawa? You better not be stirring up trouble. Wahute, you sack of Ronek shit! This ain't over. Do you hear me? Okay, Nish Runek Ronek. Okay. I was close. You wanna tell me what that was about? Nothing that need concern you, sir. Zekoa is simply struggling to come to terms with the low character of his friends. But for good measure, I'll have the men keep an eye on him. Yes, you do that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go make my rounds. I'm guessing it's also part of the dust watch. I wasn't expecting to see your faces among the crowd. I wasn't expecting you be having gained access to Jacques Duval. So I guess this after his fight with the dawn, like with the previous dawn servant, I'm guessing. He gave him permission. After like seeing his abilities in this duel they had. Talk is right, there's a new dawn servant. Take it you found it then. The Golden City. Of course we have. Aye. The contest is over. <laughs> and as I needed to return home to Yasulani, I offered to show our friends some of Shak Turar. What brings you north? Nothing in particular, just seeing what there is to see. Very like him, that's true. Guru Jaja compensated me rather generously for our duel. I'll be able to enjoy a comfortable life on the road for the foreseeable future. <laughs> okay, he gave him, gave him money. All right. But for now, I shall be moving on. Oh, by the way, I recommend you try the Sabatender. They may not look it, but surprisingly delicious. Wasn't Sabatender the name of some character in like previous Final Fantasy games as like zombie enemies even? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm guessing, at least it sounds like it's either a dish or a drink they serve here. At least I hope so. But we don't serve Sabotender here. I actually just noticed FF14 is also already warning about fishing messages in game. I mean, I'm not surprised that people are trying to do fishing in game as well, but. Interesting that they're actually even warning about it. Nazina do we said our then we run into excitement. At least no one was hurt. The Stars Watch has to work cut out for them for as long as I can remember all disputes because Ball was settled by dueling. Okay, really cowboy like. I already know what. Okay, it's already quite apparent the theming for this area, I guess. But then. It's not. Okay, then it's not even that far off with my assumption that, like. A Yoktual is like. A lot of like South American 
um, inspiration then. If they like do this thing with uh, Yogtual being South American and Jacktual being North American, and now we are like running into an old Western cowboy city, so to say. The peoples of Charlone rarely saw eye to eye, and for better or worse, it was the simplest way to settle differences. Since most would soon or not risk their lives, though, it encouraged parties to pursue peaceful resolutions in a roundabout fashion. The Death Watch was likely established by supporters of Koana, preferring peace by enforcing through the former rule of law. A reasonable stance, all things considered. If things ever got out of hand, the Lance Guard would be forced to step in, but freedom they have now would be lost under Zoroja's authority. I would just to say, unless a lengthy stay in a jailhouse appears to you, be mindful of how you enter your arms in town. Hmm. I mean, I just have like a book. Yeah, so. I mean, I also could switch to like a machinist if I wouldn't want to. Because I do have one. I'm not sure which level actually, but. Yeah. It wouldn't be up to level for the story if you think so. <laughs> nah. Hey, what is my machinist level? 80, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> So should update this. I should like to think the stableman has arrived with the Ronek by now. I will go ahead to check. If you still want to have a look around, then be my guest. Come and find us when you've had your fill. Though I'm still not sure if like the naming inspiration is still mainly like a South American. So there's like a lookout point over there. Do I have like more uh, stairs to get up there or do we have to go up there different way? Yes, more stairs. Down my home. Let's do another slash lookout. If I see them, I'm picking up, but I'm not actually like particularly hunting for them. But like my sightseeing log is filled out spotty at best. The friends I take it. Sorry to have kept you both waiting. I really realize it's not the only source of recent distress, I'm afraid. Also been rise in robbings targeting merchants. As a result, we've got a lengthy list of folks wanting to use our own neck. Which is why I have to ask you to stop at Sheshenevesi Springs. That's fine of course, but why haven't the just watched dealt with the banditry? Kameka and his fellows are doing what they can, but they reckon the bandits are operating, operating as a gang. Burning them all up is easier said than done. If you have anything of value, you want to take care. Thank you for warning. We will be, we'll be sure to stay with Trent. We have a lot of value on us, to be honest. Madam, if ready to set off, let's see you on, our, on your way. But whoever is going to try to mess with us, we can easily help them, I would say. Ready? Let's set up. Your friend seems to know the way, so I won't bother giving you directions. Alright. Why is this one so much bigger than mine? What is the thing? It's your first time, so I take it slow. Take care not to let it toss you. Continue to be stuck by how much Charloni has changed. The town you just visited wasn't even here several years ago.
If you rely on opportunities to replenish water supplies, turn to turn to new polytenders. Not just for the world or in their stems mind, their fruits are also said to be both nutritious and delicious. Hmm. See that hole there? there sh some might hope to find water there. Uh, but it's brimming with cerulean. Yeah, it is. The option of flames from within make for respectable, inspiring cautionary tales of people who wander too close. The Valaki, meanwhile, show great reverence to cerulean and its blue flames. But that is a discussion for another time. We're here. A good thing follows Ronak. They're also getting the, already the next override. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like teleport points, teleportation points. No sooner we dismount uh, than the next passengers are already on the way. They really are short on Runek. Now then. This is Trishan Vesey Springs, perhaps the busiest town here in Shaloni. People travel here from all over, hoping to find the fortune. The change come to the Wizardavi was surprising enough, but this is no less impressive. We've achieved a great year in three years I've been away. The station is on the eastern side of town, but there should still be time before the next train departs. If you don't mind, I'd like to pay a visit to an old friend of my mentor. Iata is her name, and if she's learned that I passed through without saying a word, she would never let me hear the end of it. She set out from our village some ten years ago, hoping to earn coin as she traveled about Tural. Can't but assume she too came here seeking great opportunities. Any case, let us see if we can find her. Her blue hair should make her easy to spot. Alright. Mm -hmm. Also, do we have an evil current nearby? Straight to the east of us. Let's pick it up quickly. Wait, don't tell me it's on top of that. Here it is. But I think I can just walk up here. Yeah, I can. the next one. This one should know if he is, but I... This also still quite close, let's just pick it up as well. And now Palutender are like the, the cacti. Alright. No, I don't want the, the yokai board stuff. Thank you very much. I don't know. I like the music. It's really fitting the vibes of this place, I would say. already tuned so let's look for that blue-haired lady 
It also would have been like appreciated if it would have said what race the lady is, but hey. I'm guessing it's another Viera. Or Shetona, as they are called in Torel. Mm, yes, I'm Yette, and who might you be? She is my friend. Could it be? Goodness, it is. Ellen. Aaron will, yes. A man crown. You are such a darling little thing as a child. You know, it's only been three years since last we spoke. Really? Only three? I suppose it all starts to get hazy after a while, living as long as we do. Well, this is Yada. She's no she's no my mentor since they were children. Nice to meet you. Never thought I'd see the day when you travel with company. You really have come, Elena Elenish Elenish Pia. Elenish Pia. I guess. Is that what they call you? Alright, alright. I was born in Elenish Pia, adopted a new name when I became a cleaner. One that adheres to Eastern Viera conventions so as to avoid drawing attention. Given that this is a homecoming, it was only a matter of time before you found out. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you could continue using my chosen name. A homecoming? You know, I've been thinking of paying the old stamping crowns to visit myself. It would be good to see Shakuya again. She's the finest archer I know, and then Pia's mother and mentor. Every time I drop by, she treat us to a veritable feast prepared with fresh game she would handle herself. You're impressive with bow too, Yate. Even among the Shetona. I couldn't compare to Shakyuya. But his skills are at arms. But his skills at arms pass in comparison to her knowledge of nature. That's what earned her a place among Gula Judge's traveling companions, after all. She was always the inquisitive sword, but the journey across the world lit a fire in her. Even after Nishpia was born, she often left him in my care, so that she could embark on another expedition in search of the unknown. Oh, how you would cry and beg her to take you along? It must have been hard on you. Yata, please. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens when you bring, some bring over a new friend, I guess. But we are friends here, aren't we? No matter how many times he asked, the answer is always the same. You can come when you prove you're a true explorer. Thus did she task me with finding the Golden City. Despite my best efforts, all paths led nowhere. Assumed it was but a dreamless fancy employ to goad me into experience the wider world. But it was all real, and we found it. You found it? As part of the Rite of Succession, I assume everyone had heard. That's amazing. Oh, she would be thrilled. And eager to bombard me with questions, no doubt. Well, we should be on our way. Thank you so much for stopping by. Give my best to Shakuya. Help, I need help! What was that about? Very nice kid. Please wait here.
Oh, it actually say, uh, said in the quest line that you should like find a blue headshot donor. I just didn't remember where, which, which way to go where, to be honest. And I didn't even read the quest description, but I. Or the quest goal, you could say. No doubt, these are the infamous local bandits. Please have to help, I've been robbed. It's Amika, Buklamas nursemaid. Errol, Tamamo. Come any closer and you slit the throat from ear to ear. If it's so much as nick your skin, you won't live you will live to regret it. Oh yeah? Hold on. Did she say this is Buklamats and just maybe? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Take a good to the boss. We will deal with this. Please, you have to give it back. Oh, she's just running out her. I'm going after Namika. The lot I leave to you. Cocky bastard. I'm hanging by the ears and feed the old woman to the dogs. And I will be the up with a book. You can deal with them later. First you need to put this one in the dirt. Mm. A paladin and a uh, machinist. Alright. Also, give me this. I knew you were usually dead with that. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. The band have managed to get away, but I have no idea to where they were headed. You said they stole something from you? A bracelet. It was a parting gift from Uklama. I see. Of course, as you two I can only imagine how much it meant to you. But what brings you all this way? With the right of succession ended and Buglamar crowned, the next town servant, she is ready to stand on her own. I told her as much, and of my plans to return home to Yasulani, she gave me the bracelet that I might always remember our time together. It filled me with such joy. I wanted everyone to know, everyone to see this wonderful gift given to me by the vow of resolve, and now it's gone. I would let them take every coin to my name, if only they had left me the bracelet. I would ask what you intend to do, but I know that look. You're getting a brace better, of course. Please, you mustn't put yourself in harm's way for my sake. Eh, that would be easy. I can assure you, no harm will come to us. Time will make certain of that. Exactly. I understand that your methods can be brutal, but it would be wise to show some restraint, lest you find yourself on the wrong side of the law. Perhaps I should come as well, to be sure, or proceed it as it should. I mean, I'm a healer. <laughs> a dangerous one, but hey. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can see why Wuklamad puts on so much faith in you both. Before anything else, let's see her back to the um, Shishan uh, Vesi Springs. She'll be safe in town, and if Yata dared to keep an eye on her, you would have nothing to worry about. 
Thank you, both of you. Alright, pick the town it is, though I just wanna check for an evil current nearby. A bit to the north. Let's just quickly pick it up, I guess. I'm guessing it's probably right on top of that thing, is it not? Oh no, it's not. Good. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just like right on the wrong side to get on top of this, am I not? Oh no. Yeah, I was. <laughs> of course I was. Looks definitely cool, just like blue flames randomly burning on the ground. So I'm wondering, is this a, is this a reference to what's fragging, uh, which is done in America? <laughs> it kind of, it kind of looks like it. They're just like using this as a reference to like fracking. I'm not sure though. There definitely are similarities, though. As controversial as the practice may be. Well, told me what happened, and you needn't worry about Namika. If those bandits should find us, I might kick up a fuss and see them driven off. The present meant everything to her, and those bastards wouldn't care even if they knew. It makes me sick. But at least she's safe, and I know you said things right. Brace for trouble. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go and recover the bracelet. I have nothing but contempt for these bandits, as this involves a gift from Muglamad. He must mi be mindful how our actions might reflect upon her. I doubt Namika would find joy in the return of that gift if flies were taken in the brothel. Hmm. Sorry. Well, now, this makes me think you're strong. Really strong, are you? Mm. I may have saved the star on one occasion. Yeah. You saved the star? That's a bold claim to make, but if true, that certainly speaks to your strength. If your curiosity has been sated, then please indulge mine. Is there anything you can tell us about these bandits? Let's see... Well, of late there's been talk about some unsavory types coming and going from Tonatanyavi to the southwest. Is that the old mining town that was abandoned? That's the one. Now the cerebral extraction is big business. No one wants to waste their time picking at the... Uh, uh, tried up veins there. Sounds like a perfect layer for bandits, not to mention that the one with the bracelets fled in that direction. So we're in investigating that place. You can let the dustboard know if you like. No, not yet. It would be best if you went alone. That's something I would like to ascertain if you have no objections. Right then, let's be off. Okay. Investigating all the band mine. Nothing new, I would say. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, there's actually like an info current in that direction, so this fits well. It seems the bands have claimed this place for themselves. Mm, yeah, I would say so. Also, there are uh, most of them already like. I've already seen bits and pieces of this gear set, but it really reminds me of like a bondage. <laughs> bondage fetish gear set, to be honest. They're really appealing to. I guess they kind of try to appeal to a specific crowd or subculture in this game with those glamour sets. They've made no attempt to conceal their presence. How can the Dusk Watch not have noticed by now? A question for another time. First, you must find a bracelet. I don't see the bandit who had it. Perhaps they are in one of the buildings. I'm sure as they are. It should prove a simple thing to eavesdrop on anyone inside. If you would go and have a look about, I will keep watch for trouble. This is going to be some kind of stealth mission again. Oh, um, well, okay, not in particular, it's just in spirit. It's being stealthy and it's dropping, I guess. Oh, yeah, and some of them are actually hostile. Oh, not only some, all of them. Okay. This is like not like uh, an instant stealth mission, but like a proper one. The bandsters will not notice you here. You can safely eavesdrop on any inside. As we need to listen, a familiar voice rings out through the wall. Get me out of here, you bastard! Shut your mouth, you shivered little bird. Make me, I will get you all back for framing, my friends. The watcher, most of all, uh, the watcher, most of all, I'll tell me you can eat shit. How about we give you the chance to tell me yourself? We see how tough you are then. Okay, the Sokova guy is already the big deep to like his neck in trouble. It's more. To be honest, I'm not surprised though. Ah, Irma is also sneaking about. And once you don't notice you're here, you can eavesdrop at any time. Sure, sure. I just need to hear someone entering the room on the other side. I've brought a break to back a prize you're gonna love, boss. Have a look at this bracelet. It's beautiful, right? It? But it was made by a famous artisan. You idiot. How are you supposed to move something like this without attraction attention? But, boss, please. Please, I'm sorry. Wagon, we could find a sailor who won't ask questions. Sell it for a song. Here, you reward. And don't bring me this kind of grief again. I won't, boss. Thank you. At least the boss understands. And st understands his benedic uh, benedictory uh, craft, you could say. And how to stay under the radar. Mm. 
let's just check the easily go through here somewhere. Um, <laughs> As you need to listen, you begin to pick out voices in the Muffet Shadow. Do not uh, be without him, probably shuffling sand, praying we'd stink it rich. Ain't that the truth? Only an idiot would work the mines with easier money to be had. Now then, we've got a boss, we can keep the dust watch off our backs, huh? Hey, watch what you say. The wind's got a way of carrying secrets to the wrong ears. Maybe so, but who would ever believe one of them sainted souls was running our crew? Maybe so, but who'd ever believe one of... Oh. I just wanted to read the same dialogue again. The drunk who brought, uh, brought your story about a goat shedding a pack, am I right? <laughs> hmm. So the Death Watch are in cahoots with the bandits. To be honest, I'm not surprised. Kind of was um, expecting something along those lines. Uh, along those lines. Hey, Aramil. Finish, are you? Let's retreat for now. So, were you able to learn anything? Their leader is a man of the Dusk Watch? They'll explain why these bandits have been able to do as they please, and you say they gave the bracelet to him? It seems to have our work cut out for us. Did you hear anything else of note? Oh, wait, I'm guessing um, the. the. Um, Mikoto. Which talked with the with the Dust Watch guy earlier, who said who might be, who had suggested might be also part of the Dust Watch, maybe the actual like ringleader. Sakoa, that's the boy who confronted one of the officers in town, isn't it? And you say they threatened to take him to speak with the Vulture, the leader's alias, no doubt, fitting for a man who preys on the helpless. But um, not only do we have a better idea of who is behind the recent trash of robberies in Gusatavi, but we've also know but we also know he has the bracelet. Retrieving it without bloodshed will prove difficult though. If he's that quick to point a gun at his own underlings. Mm. You need to get him alone. Storming him would be stupid. You're right. If you confront him with his henchmen around, a violence outcome is all but guaranteed. Hmm, I might have a plan. There's a small settlement to the southeast of here. Luatenya Vavsa. Meet me there and I'll explain everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Put you to the south of here. That's probably also where we're gonna like uh, most likely be picking up our next for current. A bit more southwest. Yeah, okay. A slight like tour, which we're gonna pick up though. Uh, 
focus. Probably something we can only get up to if we can fly unless there's like a path down here. Okay, this is like a cave. Not a cave, a canyon actually. Alright. Which I barely can see anything right now. Why is it so stupidly dark in here? Also, I'm not sure what's with this one monitor of mine, but... As soon as it like gets too dark in a ga in one game, it just turns like all to black. The one monitor I have can't really handle it. If I actually look in my into the game, my OBS, I can actually make out more in the darkness. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep watching OBS, <laughs> so I can actually see something. I mean, I could try turning up the brightness uh, a bit more, but I already did that once. And the brightness is not really helping it, to be honest. Yeah, the brightness is not really helping us, it's just like a black blur. It's actually like a color thing. Of the monitor. I was actually already uh, had this issue the entire time with like Irwin's skin because he has like really black black skin, while my character has a bit more of a grayish black to it. Uh, I mean, it's still really dark in here, but still. Hmm. At least my other monitor was helping. Oh, okay. The next one is like really far away. Right? Also, I'm just gonna unlock this bit of the map down here as well. Using this dinosaur model a lot. This is actually also a mount which I own, which you can get from like the first area in Eureka. I'm just guessing this is the same one we are supposed to go. For the reason map is also carrying this bit of the map though. There you go. <laughs> If you are to do retrieve the playset with the conflict, it won't be done barging in through the front door. You have to lure him out. To do that, we've availed ourselves of yes, yeah, tracking like creatures that live to the south of here. It's a breeding season, you see, and the males will flock to the scent of a female in teat. With your ingredients in the sample of their feces, I can create an attractant that resembles this scent when burned. 
You can lure the um, the ye he he seer into the bandit's hideout, flushing out the watchers and his gang. Then, why they contend with our flying friends? We can sneak in and search for the bracelet. I'm afraid I must act as you collect the excrements. Why you see to that? I will go and procure two the remaining ingredients. So we have to dig for shit. Well, thank you, Ermel. Before you say anything, I do not ask this because of any aversion to feces. It would simply be easier for me to find a specific species of vile plants we require. Here, take these three pouches, see them filled, um, and I will handle the rest. Well, I guess we gotta do that we gotta do. This is like these birdies here. Yes, yeah. This is such a weird name. <laughs> it doesn't feel natural, like to, 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 to yeah, say it like a name like this. At least they're like easy to avoid. They don't seem to move about much. Is he ever turning though, I wonder? Huh. Okay. That was easy enough. already are we yes we are excellent this will do nicely all that's left is to mix the feces with tumble claw fibers to write napolia napoli tender root and the generous helping of animal fat let's go back to Jonathan Yavi Through the wilderness. It's actually a lot more grassy than you would expect from like this uh, recent inspired area, you could say. A bit more of like a more lush savanna vibe than um, like try. Desert. <laughs> but I mean, Final Fantasy XIV has a lot of like weird ecosystems. So. I think it's ready. Time to set our plane into motion. If a number appear to be given inside, now's our chance. I will keep watch from here. The attractant I'll leave to you. So see into the bonfire near the middle of town. His seer will come soon after. Alright. Oh. 
let's sneak inside again, I guess. Six thing are moving, I wonder. Okay, I'm not in area of the detection ranges. Let's wait. What's that smell? Ugh, it reeks. Fitting music for this. What did you put in the fire? It wasn't me, I swear. Uh, did something die? Someone explained it ungodly stench to me. Oh, no, it's actually just. Well, actually, we literally did really dust watch too, we found earlier. Boss, over there. Huh? What in the world? Ah Run for your lives! I'm not sure if this is uh, actually a better solution in the end with less casualties. <laughs> so the spoke wants to let me hear. I swear when I find out who did this. <sighs> Alright, our friends have stirred up enough trouble. Time to achieve the bracelet. Hey, what's going on out there? I'm sitting here in case you've forgotten. I would I wouldn't release him. He's only gonna stir up even more trouble and like reveal us. So tired, we'll be back for you. What? You gotta get me out of here now! They're gonna kill me. I'm begging you, please. Shh, they will hear you. Already too late for that, I would say. Shit, who was that? You're just ignore the dude. Hey, are you going to help me or what? <sighs> the president must wait. Let's bring him out and withdraw for a while. Can we, like, bonk him with our book, please? He deserves it. A weird hard bonk, by the way. I really hate, like, idiots who can't, like... Who really can, like, not read their own... I, like do not understand like the situation they're in. Oh, the deaf one and not to show for it. <laughs> Sorry about it, but then I didn't think anyone would have the balls to take on the voucher. 
I need to apologize. We are planning to save you eventually. Really? And I don't even know who you are. You secret reminded us of mine or something? Nah. Nah. <laughs> More the contrary. I'm just having fun with you, but I do appreciate your help. There's many called the Watcher. I've seen his face before. I was not officer so you confronted in town. The one and the same. When he's not masquerading as a gang leader, he serves as the deputy chief of the Dust Watch. It will explain why the bandits are so confident that they can avoid capture. They're trying to get uh, some. get bang something the Watcher store, right? Let me help. At least I can do to offer you. Uh, do after you bailed me out back there. I have an idea where he is hiding his cash. Reckon he's headed there now, too. We can go together. I've got a score to settle with him myself. I don't know that you do, but I need to know what it is first. Will you tell us? Right, so, those bands uh Tonaten Yawi. They're called the Daybreakers. And it was me and my friends that founded the group. But, but it wasn't a gang of cutthroats, not back then. We just wanted to protect the people who couldn't protect themselves. Kids being harassed by bullies, workers being exploited by the mining concerns, folks who needed help to even the odds. That was three years ago. And whenever we found someone skimming the shadows, we settled matters the best way we knew how. With a duel. I see. By the old laws, anyone who loses in a duel must be held to account for their crimes, even those in positions of authority. Only way damn sure they did, every time. Before we knew it, our small band of friends commanded a force to be reckoned with. Then about a year ago, the Roger and his fox showed up. They got a better of us and took over the Daybreakers. Everyone was afraid of him, so they did his bidding without question. But then when he showed them how they could make the fortune easily, that was when they really won him over. Now the Daybreakers is nothing but a bunch of bandits and cutthroats who prey on the people it was created to protect. I talked it over with my friends, Quikana and Levine, and we all agreed that only way to stop him was to challenge to, was to challenge him to a duel, and he accepted. I still remember how he gloated that he'd win. But when the day came, he showed up with a dust watch and had my friends arrested on charges of robbery. As if it wasn't enough, he said there. We set a bail at a price no one could ever hope to pay. With them locked away, there was no one left to help me. None of my old friends from the Daybreakers, and certainly not the Dust Watch. Let me guess, Castinian will be able to pay uh, to pay the bail. As I've already uh, like said, like one of the Genshin streams of like the concept of Chakra's gun, which also like Final Fantasy XIV um, follows quite closely. Whenever you mention some uh, like a minor detail which does not like seem to matter in the story, it will eventually be pick picked up to actually have some importance for the story. And like Estinian just casually mentioning that he's gotten a lot of money from like the dawn servant well this will pop up eventually <laughs> this will have some relevance further down the line that was until the guy with the spear stopped me no sooner had i stepped out of town than the watchers minions caught me by surprise they took me prisoner then well you know the rest is it a dust watch would be of no help? Are they all working for the watcher then? Hmm. 
No, not all of them. The Sheriff Kameka. He's an honest as they come. A staunch keeper of the peace. Problem is, he's a little too trusting and doesn't suspect the thing. If it were my word against the deputy's chief, who do you think you would believe? Well, if he knows where this watchers keeps his spoils, perhaps he can help us recover Namika's bracelet. What do you think? I mean, he also seems to be an honest guy, if not a bit rash, but hey. And like, a bit naive. What is worth of a plan, but I can't do it alone. A plan? Allah says you hear me out, but not here. I'm waiting for you at the uh, Shashan Wesi Springs. I guess we can decide what to do after he gives us the pitch. It's actually quite close, otherwise I would have teleported. Good you here. There's very heights this loot. I expect you will show up soon. I don't want to mold my chocobo, I want to continue with the story. Hmm, well, uh, look who it is. Strong throwing goods here seems risky, but I suppose it's an option for someone with his authority. Yeah, he moves the spoils in cerulean barrels, where no one would think to look. They mix them with regular shipments to a field to Toliolia, where they are sold off. They said he, is, he stole a bracelet of yours, right? If he knows you're on his tail, chances are he will be eager to get what he can for it. But I doubt he trusts a lackey with that business, given the provenance of the piece. No, our Reggie is not letting the bracelet off his side till he's got coin in hand. I wasn't sure what to make of you after Satavi, but I'm glad to see you more than an impulsive child. Uh, well, not my finest hour, I will admit. But there's a lesson in that. The watcher is a slippery beast. If you're going to catch him, we need to back him into a corner with hard evidence. That's my plan. First, we need to lure him away from here. Over to the Husatabi would be ideal. For that, I need one of you to help me. This is a bad time for the other to search the barrels for any stolen goods. And using that, we expose him as a criminal. There's no way to tell if you are carrying the bracelets, but regardless, there will be time enough to find it once he's behind bars. But only simply feign uh, innocence. Oh, he will try. And that's when I challenge him to a duel. A duel? That approach didn't work out well for your friends, as I recall. True, but unlike before, I challenge him in front of the whole town. That way you won't be able to wriggle out of it like before. Every man, woman and child of the wilds understands the importance of duels and the old laws. The deputy chief would never disgrace himself by refusing. But wouldn't you be breaking the law by using a firearm in town? It's not as though I would be using life rounds, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's important is that I get him to duel with as many witnesses as possible. When he loses, and he will lose, that will be the end of the watcher. At least he's quite confident, confident in his like shooting skills, I would take it. 
The brown is not without laws, but what do you think? Let's let Sokoa have his duels and prove himself. Thanks. I sure was lucky running into two of you. Run good credits, I promise. If you're satisfied, then so am I. I knew I could count on you. I was seeing a Tonatari, so it's probably best I stay and search the barrels. And you with me. Tell the watcher I tried to rob you, but you managed to overpower me. Even if he suspects a trap, he won't uh, be able to resist taking the bait. You want to buy your friend as much time as possible and make our way to, and make your way to Husas 3 once you've got a watcher there. I'll take care of the rest. Alright then, let's get to it. Alright. Let's talk to the chief. They uh, see how well likely the Shatona is doing. What's his angle? <laughs> and then there's the Brad. It's the first time I dealt with him. Well, it's oblivious to your presence. Perhaps I turn the poke to get his attention. Oop. Well, what's this? Hmm, I'm a fill in the face in these parts. Um, have a need of the dust watch, miss. What? Sakura tried to rob you? But you apprehended him? I see. So desperate was he to see his friends free from prison. He turned to a life of crime. Awful. You have my sincerest thanks, miss. Might I trouble you to take him to uh, me to him? Is our coming you keep him at your side in order to receive the quest objectives? Uh, you can leave him by entering differently or by speaking with him. Okay. I can't use a mount while I'm running with him, but yeah. Let's see what he has to say to this. Now, well, this isn't a proper time for me to play your guide, but if you insist, Shusha and Resi springs us home to thriving Sarudu, your mining industry. The prospect of easy coin has attracted some undesirables, though. Okay. It's not as nice as Blyaton, you could say, because you can, like, spam that, but it's a, a little bit more for speed boost to use expedience. But if you like doing, like, um, escort quests using mounts, you will be too fast for the CPU to, uh, like, the CPU to catch up. Is this a place? I don't see him. Just a little further. I see. So I'll lead on. To chat about here. Ah, the cerulean. There's gold in these fields. Blue gold. Um, best be be wary of the beasts in these parts. They may prefer to snack on cerulean, but for you, I reckon they'd make an exception. Okay. Is this the place then? Still, I'm still on my way around here. 
Some sort of truck? <sighs> All, uh, let's keep moving. I mean, we've been running mostly in like a straight line towards the goal, but hey. Random enemies. Like how the CBRM is calling is not even doing anything. Ah, this is a hand, uh, a hand mob. Or it was wandering. This better be the place. Mm. I don't know, I remember. Hey there, Dark Angel Rose. Imagine is wearing off our late fin, miss. If he isn't at a place we, just, uh, we stop, uh, at the next place we stop, I may be forced to do something you and I would both dearly regret. Wow, he's already starting to friending us. Really not a chill dude. Are we from Tsuki? Mm, not sure what you're talking about, to be honest. <laughs> I guess you whatever uh, I feed you one raw needs and all. Cut the chit chat. Okay, he is really not chill anymore. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you're talking about, to be honest. <laughs> well then, watch along if it kills the board then. Hopefully it does. Alright, where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Where is Sakova? Tell me where he is, or I bury you in the same grave. Goodness me, where could he have gone? <laughs> I've never played Gothic form before, but I know what it is. As I have had it with these games, I have had it with you. Hey, Yuta, you looking for me? If you want to place me under arrest, you have to work a little harder. Yep, this is fun fantasy. We were waiting for us there by the time I'm done with you. Up to me, I see. And finally, you learn another voice cutscene. For my taste, there are uh, two like little of those. I would have liked it more if that would like would have voiced a lot more cutscenes in this expansion, but hey. Uh, Well, 
Well, well. If it isn't our young outlaw. Are you already covering a crowd? You've taken up stealing, I'm told. I can't say I'm surprised about that, but I am surprised that you'd offer yourself up to be arrested. Sorry to disappoint, but you're the one who's going to answer for their crimes today. Right on there, but... Hey! That's my jewelry! And my bag! So you found the stolen goods. That's fine work. This battle was at Shisenuetsi Springs, mixed in with others bound for Tuliola. The Landsguard would have presumed it part of the regular Cerulean shipments and waved it through. And once it reached its destination, it would have been retrieved, and its contents sold for coin. Mm -hmm. The audacity. Do we know who's behind this? Do you think she's standing right in front of you? I spied the leader of this operation being handed one of the stolen items. A bracelet, which Vau Wuklamat had intended for her nursemaid, Namika. It, it, it was from the vow of resolve? <laughs> oh, you've seen it then? No, n no, never. And if I knew who had it, I, I would have arrested the scoundrel. This was all just bragging. You would have to arrest yourself then. So go ahead, do that. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Wuhute? It's a setup, sir. I, I have the bracelet, yes, but I only because I found it. I, I swear. They're the real criminals. They concocted this scheme to frame me so they could get me out of the picture. If you feel your honor is at stake, there's always the old-fashioned way. The law which folks have used to settle their differences for generations. You don't mean... I do. Let's go for it. Wahute, I challenge you to a duel. The winner is right, the loser is wrong. Doesn't get simpler than that. I mean, I'm, I don't... Normally, I would not be for a duel of that kind because... It is not a foolproof way to ascertain the truth. It's just... The stronger person wins. Nothing more. And gets this right, but... In this case, this is having us out. <laughs> Yeah, have at it! Let your pistols do the talking! Please, do you honestly believe you can goad me into playing your game? You refuse then? Huh. A baby alpaca's got more fight than you! boy but remember you asked for this come on Sakawa give him what for shouldn't we stop him chief even if it's just rubber bullets we're in the middle of town be quiet just watch
Doing a nice setup at least. I like this, like, the reference of, like, this turtle being the tumbleweed. <laughs> it caught me, caught me off guard, but this is, this is, like, a nice not of subversion of expectations, you could say. <laughs> the tumbleweed turtle being the tumbleweed. Looks like you've gotten slow in your old age, Vulture. You and I are going to have a long talk. Yep, I guess this one is wrapped up. <clears throat> Apologize for dueling in the middle of town. If you want to lock me up, then lock me up. But please, let my friends go. They've done nothing wrong. You drew your gun within town limits. But we Hootay drew first. Far as I'm concerned, you acted in self defense. You're free to go. <laughs> true. You would actually did true first. So come on, just to like faster. As are your friends. Ah, uh, you're not such a bad guy after all. Just a man of the wilds, like you. But to think that Wihute had taken control of the Daybreakers, it pains me that it happened right under my nose. What are you going to do about his crew? Some of them are still in Tona Tenui. That's how you pronounce it. Finally. Those who have broken the law will be taken into custody. But those who haven't will be given the chance to resume walking the straight and narrow. What about you, Zakua? What do you intend to do now? Why, what I've always done. Protect the weak and help the helpless. The old-fashioned way. Here, this was Vauk Lamont's gift for someone, wasn't it? Yes, a person very dear to her. I suppose this is where we go our separate ways. My thanks again for your help apprehending the vulture. Really? That wasn't like rude. It wasn't that hard. <laughs> You just gotta be careful with like not another person trying to do what we would have did. They're now being rather more complicated than expected, but all's well that ends well. Whew, finally it's over. I could have brought him to adjust it without your help. I don't know how I will ever repay you. Did we get white banana blend? Oh, and we get like a uh, side quest for Eve occurrence. Sweet. Now that we've the bracelet, let us return to Shesha and Resi Springs. If you're staying there long, I'd like to give you a proper thanks after I find my friends. We weren't planning on it, but there's no need to rush. We'll see you at the Springs then. Oh, there's actually not only here, it's over there. 
Just one here. Good. Let's just quickly skip rulers. As we always do. It is inside. Looks like it, at least. Yeah, but it is. Is this a gambler thing? Also, how does it look with Eva Currents nearby? Okay, but to the northeast. Wait, what does it want me to do? So the Nintendo show of legs. Okay. Actually, never reused this emote before. <laughs> At least I don't remember reusing it. Uh, no, for these it was right. Okay. Yeah. We will head to the area later, so let's go over to the other Eva current quest. I think in a small town we just pass through, huh? Yeah. Oh, it takes me to the canyon. Uh, why? why the canyon? <laughs> I guess you don't need to go to the canyon before to get an evil current. If you just like follow the side quest, you can get two evil currents in one. Time to look on my second screen again so I can navigate a canyon. <laughs> mm. Actually, you know, this, is, this time it's not that bad since it's like daytime, not nighttime. I actually can see something on the main monitor. I just have to track back again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I really wish you get flying before you actually have to do all of these, but uh, this is why I also why I wait to do like the other side quest first, because I can like do the random side quest for like leveling and all drop later on once I'm done with it, and like flying will make it so much more convenient. Uh. That's why I'm also like leaving all like the normal like brown quest markers alone for now. Really, like I want to do like a whole like sweep for all the areas and do the side quest with like an all drop um, to level it up to level 100. Once we're done with like the story. Is there any more over here? I'm just gonna teleport there and do a short toilet break, so I'm gonna be right back. Look who's back! <laughs> Where's it? Oh, okay, now it's working. So let's continue and actually give like give back the bracelet. Oh, wait, wrong direction. <laughs> I should I should check where in which direction I should walk before I just walk. My bracelet, thank you, thank you so much. This is more than just a gift, it is a part of me. I could never hope to replace. Truly, Wugnamad is blessed to have such devoted friends. Well, I wouldn't put quite that way. I prefer to think of us more as long-standing acquaintances. Regardless of how we choose to describe it, there's no denying of the death of your bond, though I'm sure you will continue to do so. Can't say I'm surprised the deputy chief turned out to be the bandit's leader. I always knew something wasn't right about him. And he's a claim to make with the gift of, hindsi of hindsight. <laughs> True enough. I already called it before that he was uh, that he was suspicious. By the way, I had, I had the foresight. There you are. The real daybreakers have arrived. I'd like you to meet my two best friends, Kikana and Lamine. It wasn't for you, but living as a Koa and doing what it did, it still be locked up. You have no idea how. Uh, how satisfying it, it was to see that best uh, we would uh, put behind bars. You never gave up the hope that Sokoa would find a way to get us out. He always was the best of the daybreakers. Glad he was able to convince you to go along with his plan. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately our group is smaller now and lacking in strength besides. Some outlaws might see us as an easy target. Even so, if anyone should give the Death Watch the slip, the Daybreakers will be there. We're trained night and day, so no one will get the better of us ever again. Isn't that worth it? Right, and you teach us how you throw your pistols so fast, won't you? Well, we won't need to do all of our goals as it should. But on the off chance it doesn't, we'd best make sure everyone can match or beat my speed. We owe you a great debt, and one of these days I'll be sure to repay it. On that, you have my word. Until we meet again. Hmm. Maybe we can make use of him in the future. If you excuse me, I shall find a quiet place to rest. As I'll be here a while yet, though, do let me know if there's any way I can be of assistance. We are not planning to take the train home. Oh, train service has been suspended, didn't I tell you? You mentioned no such thing. Something about the tracks being damaged in the last quake. The tunnel was closed as well. An earthquake? It must have happened when we were still down south. 
They have acquired a few tremors of late, and a rather large one struck not long before you two arrived. I can only hope no one was hurt. At any rate, if you want to know when service will resume, you could speak with the station master yourself. Let's do that. The station is just over there. Alright. Let's check what the station master has to say for us. I'm guessing the cracks will be a result of like the cerulean extractions. This has been like a more recent thing. Because these people aren't too happy about the train delays. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm so sorry, but we're not sure when the train will be running again. You've got to be joking. Of all the places to get stuck at on the way. <sighs> Please don't tell me you've come to complain too. <laughs> <clears throat> we heard that the earthquake had caused disruptions and wanted to ask when operations would resume, uh, but I see that it will be a while yet. I'm afraid so. Too few hands for too much work. It's time consuming enough to inspect the tracks after every quake, but this last one we got after the succession ceremony was massive. Made a mess of a whole bunch of railroad ties. Hmm. The succession ceremony? We would have been in Tuliola at the time. If it was as violent as you say, we should have felt it as well. Unless it was like a heavily localized earthquake. I have to admit, it was a touch strange, having seen my fair share of tremors. If I had to describe it, it felt more like the rumbling from an explosion. Hmm. Rory some cerulean. Is there anything I can do to help? Seriously? You're offering to help? What about you, my friend? If you'd rather strike out on your own, I understand. Though, if you were willing to lend us a hand, too, we'd be truly tremendously grateful. <laughs> you were quick to chime in there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Shenza, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Not really giving us like the chance to deny him, I guess. <laughs> if you would please step inside, I can introduce you to everyone. Sorry for dragging you into this. Yeah, it's fine. We are uh, some kind of a check of all rates anyway when it comes to like doing like minor minor detours and tasks. <laughs> there they are. That's them. The two volunteers. Walika is our station master, and over there is our top driver, Nitoikwe. And this grizzled mug is Zofia, an engineer who joined around the same time as me. Hmm. Sweet small Much crew. obliged for the help. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. I guess they are similar. Something the matter? <laughs> Would you happen to be a fan of trolleys? <laughs> I like this question. Trolleys? 
They're fine, I suppose, but they're no match for our cerulean-powered engine. She's absolutely glorious, let me tell you. If you'd like to bask in her beauty, well, you should visit the depot behind the platform. <laughs> right then. What I'd like you two to do is help us procure timber. We'll be using it to fashion new railroad ties, so it needs to be the strongest stuff we can get. Hmm. All right. For these parts, that means the trees in the Piata Yonan Plain. It is Hetsaro territory, though, so we need to get their permission first. Come on, no time to waste. This was a wood covering, I guess. Also, I'm thinking about if I maybe also want to change my outfit again. Um, let's see. I do not know why I actually have this is a camera play because I do not like how it looks. <laughs> True, that's like my old healer clan. I think this is like uh, my clan I used throughout Shadowbringers. If I remember correctly, because it like also should be mostly Shadowbringer stuff, right? Yeah, not even. Yeah, this is like the, the claim I used for our Shadowbringers, I think, and this is like the one I've been using throughout and Walker. These ones I've always been using <laughs> ever since I got that. There are no small number left in uh, Shaloni. I must confess that I've never visited the home of the Hetzaro. As they largely live in accordance with all the traditions, I suspect they may have a dim view of the railroads. Of course. Oh, we're getting a new weapon cover. Come, let's follow Vavlika. There's another station on the way, so be sure to drop in. This tra the train will be in the depot, but you can still see it from outside. I'm going to take with the sleek design of the headhand myself. But if you peek through the windows, you can probably catch a glimpse of... Enough jabbering, Shenza. Thanks to these two, we finally have some real work to do, so let's get to it. I mean, it's not like you needed wood. Uh, you only need wood since we arrived, but okay. We'll see you later. I suppose there's no harm stopping the station. It's on the way after all. I guess. Hmm. Let's again check for uh, the compass. Who the east? We'll be getting there, you guys. Is there nothing more like to do northwest? Yeah, okay, this looks like a big station. Okay, this just looks like mainly like an like, uh, old steam engine driven train, to be honest. I must confess, this train is an impressive sight. I always eat must be to ship goods throughout the wilds now. Right. 
Overhead sonar should be to the northeast of here. Let's continue on. Uh, but I'm gonna like try to pick up the Ipecurrent along the way. Wait, it's so much further down, so to southeast, I guess. Getting closer though. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. It's not even like it's even an uncovered part of the map. Can I just jump up here? Yes, I can. Thanks. Oh, oh. Let's also unlock this part of the map then. I think there's already some fighting over there. Faster progress. Ah, we just started. My targeting not really working right now. My trouble was already and like gone again. It's nice to just like pick a pick like one fade corner up when I'm, I'm just like there. Already passing through. I'm just trying to already end up from up here. Southeast. Sneezing a lot. <laughs> I wanna get just like frog through the water straight to the Eva right there. I, I guess I can't like you walk it through it on the, on the mound though, which would be faster. Not like until I can like fly, sadly.
Just giving a little bit of help. Always nice to like help them pro um, speed up like cyclists a bit with like trash fights. I always appreciate when like randoms also like just pop in, do a little bit of damage just to speed it up. So yeah. I also do that when I get a chance. Especially in like lower level areas where I just like one shot everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I guess to see Sprouts having to contend with like a bigger group and you just run through with like your white mage, one is size, everything falls down. <laughs> or it's funny to do, to be honest. Let's get like this little piece of map and cover as well. This is like actually the, the, the part where you should have come from. Ah, there you are. The village is just up ahead. Truth be told, I've never had the direct dealings with the people of the um, Helvatsu. Miva had so on, but I do know their traditions mean a great deal to them, as does the land. Alright. I mean, nothing wrong with like being written about traditional, as long as you don't overdo it. And keep up with like hurtful traditions. Because there are traditions that can like be uh, hurtful to a society or like a culture. <sighs> Such lovely clean air. It feels like a treat after the overpowering sodium of Shishin. Shishin Vesi Springs. The waters nearby are just as pristine. It's a paradise for people and animals both. I'm glad you appreciate the blessings of nature as we do. Greetings, Horus, and welcome. I'm Hivato, chief of the Me Mevahed Soan, and this is my son, Chapetto. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you for the warm welcome, and apologize for our sudden intrusion. I am Valika, station master of the Jacques Railing. The recent earthquake has damaged our tracks and we require timber to make repairs. Let's have one over who have volunteered to assist us with the restoration effort. Hmm. You should have a most curious hair about you. A foil and steel, tent leather, and the faintest tint of meadows are washed down familiar flora. I gather you're not from these lands. I'm a traveler of the star. We've seen a lot of places. Surely, I would love to know more of you and the lands you have seen. I'm told you people hold your tradition in the highest, and I gather you're curious about yours of others as well. But of course, nature is boundless, as is our law for her lands and her children. The heads in particular have done much to guide our way of life. We are to hunt, uh, we are to hunt together to lay our heads. The heads will teach us all these things and more. It is for that reason, I believe, that we are attuned to the shifting winds around us. I see the word Hetsu. It means state of souls in the head sorrow tongue, does it not? It does. There are many creatures we wear as head so among the head sorrow here. We look for to the uh, um, neck for guidance. However, as I may have gleaned from our use of ether rites, I we are committed to our traditions, 
This does not mean we reject all outside influences. That said, there are certain things that give us pause. We will furnish you with the timber you require, but first, as the neighbors in this land, we ask that you indulge us in a discussion. We'd be glad to, of course. Wonderful. We do not often receive guests come such a long way, and Mazan is always so delighted to hear their tales. Now, if you follow me. Cultural exchanges are always a good thing. So I'm glad to hear that they're at least open to it. Um, unlike the, the, the Mamulja, when we like encounter them. Which were like uh, like a closed of society of its own, you could have you could say. But at least they opened up by now. And yeah, we paused one moment just to drink something, sorry. <laughs> I speak frankly. I fear the winds of change will soon bring misfortune to the land. The Ronek um, have made the potential for danger blame. As we have heard, the temperament has become erratic of late. A saberman you know, who suddenly mentioned that, do you know what has caused this? You have our suspicions, since other were drawn to this land by Zerudim, Sharwani has undergone a transformation. And the rail worlds are part of that. As strong and resilient as they may seem, Renek are sensitive creatures. The roar of the train as it thunders through the plains may well cause him distress. Uh, so it's more like noise pollution, which is more of an issue, at least for now. As my father said, we do not necessarily reject outside influences or innovations, but in this case, we can't help but worry. Understandably, I thank you for being forthright. This matter concerns not only the Hetzaro, but all of Shaloni. Hmm, perhaps you should bring the attention to Wau Koana. Wau Koana, you say? We know him only for rumors, but he is apparently... Shall I put this? Hard-headed and aloof. He wears technological advancements and efficiency to the detriment of all else. Mind your tongue, Shepedo. <laughs> While there is a crane of truth to the rumors, he is not nearly as bad as they make him out to be. Hmm. His journeys have changed him for the better. So in the course of turning with him, you witness some change with your own eyes. Time will fall beside Valkoana in the right of succession. I take a word over rumors. You took part in the right of succession? You're desk close to the town servants? I was grateful for any help, but had no idea I had recruited a bona fide hero. <laughs> the succession of the town servants filled us with the uncertainty for the future, but there's clearly much we do not know. On this particular occasion, the winds of change are not meant to be feared. No, we must open our hearts and minds that we might see Waukana for who he truly is. You think he might visit someday? Just as his father has offered our gu his, us guidance, I'm hopeful that he will do the same. Thank you for hearing and allaying our concerns. I'm glad we could speak. As for our timber, um, you have freshly cut logs near the lake. 
Please take all that you require. Ah, we don't even need to cut it. Or well, like, yeah. Exit down ourselves. We're terribly grateful. I promise we keep the Ronek foremost in our minds as we continue working on the railroad. And if need be, we will seek Wow Corners Council. My well, thanks again for your time and the timber. We shall endeavor to return the favor. Hope to see you again soon. Well, let's just pick up the timber that's just laying right there. Also, uh, to the east, so. Oh! Exactly right there. Let's also pick that up then. <laughs> Let's refer further to the east here, just in that corner there, I would hazard a get. It's a guess. But hey. Let's pick up the timber before we go there. We've more enough timber to fix the tires. Now we need to transport it to the station, which will be a bit more involved than I thought. I didn't expect we'd given so much. Mind waiting here a spell. I round up a few more hands and a runek. I won't be long. I'm glad it went well, and thankfully it seems you won't need to make several trips for the timber. What is that dude doing? Uh, all right. Let's just give him an audio. <laughs> While we wait, we could get started moving the timber somewhere more accessible. It shouldn't take long. Um, if it's better work. Get up timber to the main road. You have two minutes to complete the task for the fair return. Okay. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. Oh, there's. Oh, I just see there's like blue uh, exclamation marks quest. And yeah, carrying these is like too much, it's like not even an issue. <laughs> I'm surprised that she can, like, Dempsey can stably like, carry this crate in this manner, but hey. I should think this will be enough. It was mighty kind of you to move all that lumber. Sorry I didn't make it back sooner. We'll see for the rest. Once we've better tracks, we have you on the first train out of town. Ain't it right, Chief? Uh, as much as we'd love to make it, so there aren't any spots available. <laughs> we have to wait for one half time, I'm afraid, but we'll be riding free of charge. It's the least we can do to repay your kindness. That's fine, Namika and no few others were here long before we arrived. It's only you right they go before us. I hope you stop by and see that wine off. It's a rough taking sight, let me tell you. I need to week where we were traveling. No engineer compares to her, and it's always a treat to watch her work. The only one we should be worried about is your own, Shansa, and we, and we have still more to do. I 
I find some acquired near the station to pass the time. If there's anything else in Sholani you are keen to see, I will leave you to it. Yeah, I'm gonna do some side quests and evil current gathering, I guess. <laughs> Someone's whispering me. Uh... Alright. Well, it's just the same deal. You see that you for because of like people are like whispering me privately and such. Like, do not want to have particularly have it on stream because people might not want like random people to be able to see. So, yeah, I see. This is like the the. Escort quest I helped the other person earlier with. I'm guessing the dude like focused mainly on story and then went for like going after the evil currents. I'm not sure if I can like walk ahead of very much. But yeah, this shouldn't be an issue at all. Because I can just heal like the room like, if I need to. I'm not even sure if like my um Pixie made wood on her own. Okay, he's just setting up itself easily. No need to worry. Just gotta worry if this thing can follow me properly. Yeah, it can. I'll just take it and just hit it easily. I mean, yeah, I'm not even able to break through my shields, so. Yeah. I didn't even like break through my crit shield. Oh no, it's not a crit shield, it's a direct shield. Direct crit shield, actually. There you go, have your run neck back. <laughs> S 
So we got an evil current back there, which we're gonna pick up next. I feel like maybe swimming straight forward may be the best idea. It really seems to be like we're straight to the south here. Probably over by that pier, I would guess. There's also some kind of AOE over there. Someone's fighting. What's is it just a lamp? Okay, it's just a boss lighting effect of a lamp. Or like a little bonfire. Alright. From that far away it should just look like the cone AOE to be honest. <laughs> We already got all of the evil currents in this area. Alright. Then... Uh, I think this will be the closest. Okay, let me check where we go there. Travel, the currents. Yeah, we need one more side quest E for current and then the MSQ E for current. Alright. And you fill off the sides? Well, they appear to have almost finished. Okay, what are the cutscenes we play? We have the time. So let's sit back and enjoy, I guess. And hopefully they will be voiced for the most part. A glorious grand machine indeed. I hope Namika was able to secure a seat. Let's hope. Here come. Wait, are you? <laughs> Here she comes. Looks like splitting like blue fire. Thanks to you, we managed to resume service much faster than anticipated. You have our gratitude. <sighs> ah, there's nothing so enchanting as a cerulean powered engine in motion. I guess. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Don't think I'll ever tire of watching them chugging along. Oh, they make wagons look like toys. Or like so long as we can the tracks, the she can go on and on and on. Before you know it, she'll be crossing the entire continent. Railroads are a somewhat recent addition to Tral. As it stands, we can only ferry folks as far as Yasolani. And from an operational standpoint, we still have much to learn. There's always some problem or another to deal with. Eh, you managed that in time. But we'll keep working at it. We'll hone our craft and continue expanding till one day our trains are running coast to coast. That's the ultimate dream. I mean, a train station to a Yola would be nice, I guess.
goodness, I completely lost track of time. By now, I expect the train will be nearing Yasolani. When it returns, we'll see you on your way. So if you've got any preparations to make, <laughs> you better make them quick. Um, guessing there will be some trouble going on for that. Not another one? You can't be serious. But this isn't a normal earthquake. Looks like the area has been closed off. What in the flying? What's happening? Oh, the train, Nitobikwe and the others. My home lies that way as well. Uh, we're going to investigate right now. Yep, we should as well, I would say. I know we have an inkling who might be responsible for this. Yep, we definitely should get ready back right away. This feels like this is like all Zora Jaws doing. Yep. For friend. You're here. Good. Good. They came from the sky and attacked without any warning. The people need our help. Up. Not the first crisis like this we would have to deal with, so. I don't think there will be. I don't know what they are, but they're not men. Yeah. 
Interesting. What did it just do? <laughs> I'll hold the line here. Hold back to the palace. Quickly, before it's overrun. Thank you, Buffalo Jaja. Do you think you might need some reinforcement down there? Uh, this is simply how I do things now. So, who wants to shake my blade? Yeah! I suddenly like to take a quick turn for the rulers. you should still live. So Raja? By the God, what has happened to you? This is your butchery, isn't it? Everything you've done in service to the throne, how could you betray us? Ah, Kedarum is still alive. For whatever reason. The command is simple. The dissolution of Tuli Yolol and surrender of all its territories. Refuse, and I will kill every last one of you. No, you won't. Have you gone mad? No. My ambition remains unchanged. To teach the masses the folly of war that they cry out for peace. And thus, unite the world. What has changed you so much that in so short a time? You harmed the very people you swore to serve. This is an unforgivable deed committed by my son. My son! Yes. I will end your madness. Papa, 
wait. I should be the one to do this. No. His sins are mine to bear. Is it son out of Osoralja is strong. He has never been father's equal in combat. Yeah, but I wouldn't be so assured of Gulo Judges win this time around. I believe you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. That's an interesting hint you just had there. Why would we leave Soraja this Guru Jaja was already dead? One. I didn't expect that. Despite his old age, the mighty Gulul Jaja remains a fearsome foe indeed. Hmm. You retain the vitality of two souls, despite the passing of one. He's doing the wiper mode. All right. Who's giving me a tell at this time? Even the blessed are mortal. I am though. On my honor, has vow of resolve. I'll make you pay. S 
So the once faint-hearted girl would live up to her title. Very well. If only to demonstrate the disparity between us, I give you a chance to prove yourself. Rally the entirety of your strength. Lay siege to my kingdom. Strike me down like I did father. Then will you be his worthy successor? Right, if it's like he has one. My warships will remain in your skies. When you fail to prove your worth, I shall order them to lay waste to Tuli Yolal. Choose your next steps wisely. It's like in, like the like new sceners, you could say. Uh. It's the same news from from earlier. Uh, all right. No, Papa can die. He can't. No. I guess he can. So. Uh... A glowing book. Oh. This is the fetish gear. I see. I see. Um, yeah. Do not want the fetish gear. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of it, so... Bye-bye. Wow, how could this happen? Saving. Father, please. You can't give up. Mm. I'm not really sure what I'm going to write him. Um, this is always what happens to characters of the likes of Guru, uh, Guru Jaja. Mm. Are you there, 
A friend? I think he's talking to Catamaran, isn't he? I'm right here. I'm right here. Look after my children. What? I'm an old fossil like you. I've only got so many years left. But if that's what you want, it would be an honor. Go ahead and tell her they are like. They have a really deep bond by now. You and I must go on another journey together someday. Hi. You can count on it. Yes, Papa. The graves of the Yokui. You saw them, yes? I always found their teachings comforting. I guess in case like uh, like the whole say they are. <coughs> Please, Father, you must save your strength. flesh may wither and die but so long as we are remembered we are never truly gone through you my hopes survive through you I live on so do not mourn me Walk tall and see our nation to a brighter future. <laughs> Papa. Well, let's give him a silent prayer for also a schweige minute and take a short break here. So, yes, we're already gonna do this, <laughs> and we'll be right back. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't sing. <laughs> let's continue on. What does Lamati have to say? All right, uh, so um, I. Oh, Lugama, Valkoana, bring her from the city. The enemy has withdrawn, and the land's god have begun rendering aid to the people. Casualties within our ranks have hindered progress, but we continue to do all that we can. Oh, 
I'm waiting for the report. Please inform the guard that they are to prioritize such efforts until further notice. The people, I need to help them. We will assist you in whatever way we can, of course. Thank you. Thank you. They're sure to be wounded everywhere. More than I could count. We'll split up and help all of them. You can count on us. Of an odyssey, could it take Wayside BB and cry an Ermel the uh, palace parameter? Little time, please come to the resplendent quarter with me. We'll meet back there, back here afterwards. All right. The guard and cannon members just stay behind. Yes. Just jump. Yay! Can just jump over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I feel like I've chatted long enough with him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sometimes encounters like this are nice. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I'll be fine now. But you failed to protect the people. Why did so many have to die? Wherever I will look, the man, Bokwana. <laughs> They're not to blame, I understand, I do, but. <laughs> I need to clear my head. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Your husband and my son, uh, they were... They were... Here, maybe inside. Okay, we can't go inside. All right. They never to be down here somewhere. Huh? Ah, there. I think I'm. I think I'm all right. Did you see them, the soldiers? They look like people, but they kill and kill with no hesitation. If they attack us again, how can we hope to defend ourselves? Good question. Good question indeed. Do you feel like they're more like uh, automaton or like androids? Which wouldn't be new since he did literally have a new automata collab in this game. Thank you. I thought I was done for. I heard something disturbing. Then we leader. They say he looked like Zora Ja. But that can be true, can it? Why would you first promise to take his own people? But if it was him, what happens now? He's going to come back? What do we do if he does? Oh, there's a lookout here, actually. Mm -hmm.
And yeah, I usually use these slash commands because I think it's, I feel like it's faster for me to just type out the emote. Instead of having like to click through like the dozens of menus and trying to look for it. Thank you. The pain is better now, but I can't stop shaking. Where did it come from? Where did it take us? And why are those things still in the sky? Get peace under good old Jaja. We were safe, but now? We can still like see the airship back there. Finish adding the people here. As best as I could, at least. Thank you. There were children among the wounded. Children. <coughs> well, now isn't the time. There are still others we need to help. Could we go and see how things are at uh, Tower March? And after those, go and find Alice here at Beside BB. There's evidence of significant damage from the battle. The fighting didn't spread this far, it seems. Alright. So damage assessment is our goal right now. Fresh scorch marks on the crowns are doubtless from the enemy assault. Yeah, looks like it. It looks interesting with like all like the other players here in within the rubble. Not fitting, but hey. The shops appear to uh, have weathered the chaos, though its radars has been strewn across the floor. Paul remains unscathed, but the enemy ships continue to loom overhead. Yep, yep, they do. I've had all those I could find and seen them delivered into the Lance Guard care. As many casualties as they are, it would have been murderous if the Lance Guard hadn't fought as bravely as they did. And if Zorja actually meant to harm the people, I mean, look around. These buildings are hardly damaged. The Spectre's aim was more to incite fear, to show that he could strike whenever he blazes. But we can discuss it later. How's Lamati? 
Your wife after what happened to her father, she's trying to so hard to fulfill her duty to the people. Still, everyone has their limits. She needs to rest, and so. So I mentioned seeing her head towards the shore. Perhaps she's gone to the only two clean sands. As, oh yes, sir, we also have like the roll quests still to do. What, what annoys me with the roll quests? You don't have like a sub uh, sub quest mark under the current scenario quest mark thing uh, popping up whenever like new roll quest is available for the current world you're on. Because with like, with the like dedicated job quests, you had like in early expansions, not actually have like a like a small little extra hint that like a new job quest is available, so you don't forget. Because job quests in the past also were like necessary to unlock some skills. Steady now. <laughs> I've brought you medicine, a drink. There you are, Lamati. I was beginning to... Come on! Come on! Take it! Please! Lamati... Lamati! You need rest, you and her both. I will tend to the soul. The Lands Guard have matters well in hand. Trust in them. If there's another attack, your people will need you to protect them. They'll need you to be sharp. So please rest. Consider it your duty. She's talking about that. Before them all, said that we'd build a nation where everyone knows happiness. So much for that promise. What good is a vow of resolve who cannot save her people? <laughs> you won't save your people by brawling. Ah. We handle this together. You'll stick with me. <laughs> well, duh. Thank you. My head's a little clearer now. I need to concentrate on what I can do rather than what I can't. We've dealt with unfriendly factions before. From your crystal longing for conquest, 
to adherents of blessed siblings, people who are unwilling to listen. Even so, I believe that by learning about one another and engaging in good faith, we could peacefully settle our differences. And we did. My brother is different. There will be no reasoning with him. He killed our people. Our father. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his goal. Mm -hmm. Can't be What's more, anymore. he has power. The power to destroy the peace we've worked so hard to preserve. If I'm to protect that peace, then I must fight. I must confront Zorolja and kill him. At least she is resolved. As the of resolve, she should be. I'm oh, fine. Just need a moment to settle my nerves. Thank you for being here for me and for urging me on despite all my sucking. Seeing about complaining isn't very leader like, is it? So much has happened so quickly, I struggle to make sense of it all. Strange soldiers, those floating ships, the new power of Jacques commands. With everything he's done and still intends to do, I know I can't afford to run headlong into battle, not this time. I cannot let this terrible pain in my heart lead me astray, but it will make it my strength, the strength to do what I must. Alright. I'm heading back to the palace. I need to talk strategy with Kana. Could you and the others join us in a while? However we decide to proceed, I want you all to be aware of it. When could you tell Lise I will be alright? She'd probably be at peace at PV. She's actually not where is this? Yeah, I'll show Mickey Mickey, I guess. You're back. But did I take it to mean Lamati's feeling better? She needs to be strong for the people of Tyrol, I understand that, but she doesn't have to do it alone. So if she intends to fight, then we fight together. That said, I wish I knew exactly what we were up against. Good question, good question indeed. I don't even see a difference immediately. Good. Don't even want to see, to be honest. Uh, apply. Thanks. It's clearly not a person, but it doesn't look like any automaton or magitech weapon I've ever seen. It's far and wide as you travel, though. Perhaps you've come something similar before. Well. To pee. Yeah. Would you mind taking a closer look? It may give you some clues as to soldiers' new powers. Okay. Generally, every of them is a gun, but its constructions are just as far more advanced than anything you've ever seen before. I don't want to like, go for it again. Well, I mean, this hand appears to be simply armor, but upon cross inspection, construction, construction is quite intricate. The material from which it was made is unclear, and has no signs of power source.
In place of the eyes and mouth might be, you see, a strange citron on the front of its helmet. So what do you think? It looks like a person, but it's clearly mechanical, yep. Indeed, it resembles a person, it has features that make it uncanny. The lack of a face, not least of all. Is there any signs of power source? So it probably doesn't run on Cerulean or any other conventional fuels. I tried to turn on Eva into it earlier, but there was no response. So it would seem to rule out it as an arcane entity. It's completely lifeless now, a far cry from the top of the enemy it was in battle. You know, here that's made of this mystery. But in a metal, it's more akin to a stone. Wait, haven't we seen this somewhere recently? <laughs> Let's go leave the sun out. That's right. The glowing stone used in chamber with the gate of the Golden City. And while the soldiers are a different color, the warships are the same flag as the stone of the gate itself. There has to be a connection. Let's share our observations with the others when we give it some perch. The sooner we get to the bottom of this mystery, the better. Let's go back, I just started to, uh, to the Eva right here. <laughs> we have to also run up all the stairs again. Looks like everyone is here already. Thank you for coming, everyone. Penny was cutting. And again. thank you for taking charge in the relief effort. We would have fared far worse without you. Someone had to do it, that's all. Come, let's take stock. In terms of casualties, at least 50 died in the attack. And many times that number are wounded. All available healers are seen to their care. Structural damage at least is limited, so essential business can be conducted without issue. That said, the people are understandably shaken. We must assuage their fears and begin working to restore things to normal as quickly as possible. Now, the most confounding mystery remains our enemy. And their mechanical soldiers created with technology that surpasses anything I've ever seen. What is their nature? And how did Zoralja manage to bring them under his command? Such things remain unknown. They emerged from the dome encasing Yasolani. We're quite certain of that much. Ah, uh, speaking of the dome, we have some theories, I'm told. In 
indeed. I would like to call upon some helpers to join the discussion. May I invite them here? Go ahead, sure. By all means. It's me. Permission has been granted. You can come in. I will guess that it's all of the scions. All of the old scions. Greetings, everyone. Ah, Kratia. And this dollar. I always like that he is accompanied by a uh, um, FF3 theme because of the Crystal Tower stuff. Always makes me nostalgic. Especially still since like Final Fantasy like 3 has been my ever first JRPG and ever first Final Fantasy. After that long voyage, I had hoped that we might be afforded a moment's rest. But I gather circumstances are quite dire. All is well in the Annex, never fear. I've already dealt with the most pressing matters, and others hold the fort in my absence. Following the changing of Dawn Servants, Gurul Jarja spoke about the Golden City to his two successors. Thanks to Wublamart, I was allowed to attend that meeting. What I heard led me to conclude that this was a matter for the students. Thus did I call upon our comrades who possessed the requisite expertise. It was actually after that that the dome manifested. But based on what we know, I have reason to believe that it is connected to the Golden City. While we're eager to help, we have limited familiarity with the situation. Might we trouble you to explain from the beginning? Sure, let's give him a rundown. As you know, it was a letter I found tucked away in the Baldessian Annex that brought me to Tural. A letter from the Dawn Servant addressed to my grandfather, sent some 20 years ago. The request to investigate the City of Gold? Indeed. The strange thing is, there was mention of neither Tural nor the city in our records. Hoping to learn the truth of my grandfather's mission, what he did and saw, I volunteered to help in the rite of succession. At the end of which... I was able to hear the tale from Galul Jarja. Like us, my grandfather went to the deepest chamber of the Sky Deep Cenote. And, like us, he saw the gate to the Golden City. Is that what you required our help with? This gate? It was. You see... The gate was opened once in the past, and it led to another reflection. Hmm. I can take the story from here. Considering my part in these affairs, I reckon maybe I'm best equipped to speak on the matter. I was there too, you see. In those ruins, together with Galuf and Galul Jaja. And what I saw that day, I'll never forget.
I'm probably getting an ego scene of it all. Which is preferable. Seeing is better than just hearing after all. This black stone is remarkable. I cannot help but wonder if the structures in this part of the ruins were built by a completely different civilization. It was over a thousand years ago that the giants mined here. Their records make no mention of glowing stones. Hmm. It harbors high concentrations of ether, and on the surface are what appear to be arcane patterns. They aren't Anakin, or Mahi, or Ninian. If anything, they put me in mind of the calculations of the South Sea Islanders, but even then... Directing to something at least. None of this has ever happened before. A void gate? I cannot hear anything of this. Don't tell me this is cry. Gives the new babies, run away, run away, refuse to elaborate. <laughs> wow.
Okay. Though it never opened again, Galuf continued to study the gate for years after that, hoping to learn something of value. All he could conclude was that it was built with unknown technology and that it led to another world, one apart from the void. We'd assumed the ruins themselves were the Golden City, only to discover that the real prize actually lay beyond the gate and beyond our reach. Couldn't make head nor tail of the artifact either. As it had similar properties to the black stone in the ruins, we were convinced it was important. So Galul Jaja took it to the palace for safekeeping. Galuf, meanwhile, took the baby with him back to Charlian and raised her as his own. Then the child was... The earring inside the letter to my grandfather. It was apparently found amongst my swaddling clothes. If this is true, then it means that you hail from another reflection. So it would seem. I still struggle to take it all in myself. Hmm. Looking back, Grandfather was always quick to seek distractions whenever I broached the subject. But never would I have guessed anything like this. But enough about me. We have more pressing matters. The forces that assailed Tuliolo. You suspect they are somehow connected to the Golden City? Thinking back on it, the soldiers look like they could have been made from the same black stone. And leading them was Zeralja. His involvement also lends weight to the theory. On the day of the succession ceremony, a bandit took me unawares and knocked me out. When I came to, I found my home turned upside down, with a few particular items missing. Namely, the keystones I was entrusted with, for my role as Watcher of the Gate. The bandit? You believed that it was... I only got a glimpse of him, but I... It was a blue-scaled hubigo, like no of no other. The artifact stored at the palace was also stolen. The thief struck during the ceremony, and the guard was spread thin. So our assumption is Zorong just somehow opened that gate to another reflection, where he acquired advanced technology and his mechanical armor. It fits. And if he did, then it's also likely that the dome is a product of this unknown reflection. Hold on. We've been going on and on about the reflections, but what of my home? What's become of it? Yeah, I guess we don't really know, do we? Yeah, not the science of the seven dormant anymore, so it would be appropriate to say that. Also, we are not full. Indeed. Where it concerns other realities, I dare say the scions are best suited to tackle the task. You can say that again. We've been to the literal edge of existence. Some mysterious giant dome shouldn't scare us. Mm-hmm.
As you know, our order has ostensibly disbanded. We'd thank you to be discreet about our unofficial reunion. <laughs> huh. Worry not. We'll spare no effort to get to the bottom of this. And with our hero eager to help, you can be confident of the results. I'm coming with you. If that's where my brother is, then that's where I must go. I can't say I understand everything you're discussing, but I know what I have to do. I have to put a stop to Zorosha and restore the people's happiness. Suffice it to say, I share Lamachi's desire to join you. However, under these circumstances, it would be unwise for both vows to be absent from the city. As such, I shall remain in Tuli Yolal. Come what may, I will protect our nation. So go forth, sister, and do what you must. Oh, we will. Thank you. <laughs> it may be prudent for us to likewise divide our forces. While one group ventures into the dome, the other keeps guard without. Agreed. There's something I wish to investigate out here, so I will remain. I as well. The enemy's warships still loom overhead, and I would see that we are prepared for the worst. I wish to go to the dome. As a student, I have an obligation to investigate this potential threat to the world. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not deathly curious about my origins. If there's aught to be learned, then I want to learn it. In that case, please let me come too. <laughs> of course you would come. <laughs> I have to see what's become of my home. I may not be a fighter, but I know those lands like the back of my hand. I can guide you. <laughs> if you hadn't offered... I would have asked. We're counting on you. I'm not one for waiting around, so if it's all the same to you, I'll join the dome crew. You should accompany them, Gaha. I expect your knowledge and experience will be useful. In the meantime, I intend to learn what I can about the gate, and will keep you apprised of my findings. Pray do the same. Assuming communication is possible from inside the dome, We'll maintain contact and share any developments. It seems our teams are assembled. A fine roster, I think. Mm hmm Looks good to me. We'll find a way to deal with the threat. For the sake of Tural. It's truly heartening to have you at our side for this. Thank you, everyone. Now, before we set off, there's one thing I need to do. The people are still shaken by the attack, and I'd like to reassure them as best I can. Give me a moment now before you do. It's making noises and such, so yeah, closing the door. <laughs> and the door opens, so a bit of the heat can like leave. But yeah, if they're making a lot of noises outside, um, I'll just close it. <laughs> I know what I have to do now. All right, then, number two. Do what you gotta do. I know we're in a hurry to set off, but before we do, I need to address my people. The priest's resort to our port has been shattered. 
They need to understand what's happened and how we intend to fix it. So I want to call an assembly at the Winged War. Assure them that all will be well. But as Shaggy is here, I don't know how many will come. If those who are more distressed I truly need to hear your words, if you like, you should seek out such souls and encourage them to attend. I have too. This is an important step in the city's recovery. Can you join us down one? Alright. I know that Ernwell and I will see two preparations for the expedition. Thank you. I'll go ahead and have the Lance Guard announce the address. People must first know that there's going to be one before they can decide whether or not they want to hear it. You could see to the splendid quarter and beside Bibi, Alice and I will split the rest of the city between us. Alright. In the short and crowd, you're just like gonna be left behind again. <laughs> also, wonder what Fangred. Um I'm forgetting their names right now. Fangrid, Estinian, and... Come on. Come on, why am I forgetting his name of all things? <laughs> uh, I'm really drawing a blank right now. Which is weird, but okay. Yeah, Urian J. How can I forget Urian J? <laughs> this took, took, took way too long for me to remember his name. What the hell? How can I forget good old Urian J? He's like one of the more memorable people, to be honest. After the order falls to the enemy, what will happen to us, to our homes, our farms, everything we've worked so hard to build? Lives and communities and histories are reduced to ash by these merciless villains. Yet, Bo Lukanoma is planning to address the people, but what's the point? What can she and her brother possibly have to say? Really? The daughter would have her blood already? They've lost so much, yet they're prepared to carry on. Is anyone around worrying about what's to come or change nothing? It would be a lie to say I'm hopeful for the future, but I will go here and what they intend to do. Alright. I guess we got one. Say I can't believe you were attacked. For mercy, my family was spared, and no one would have done had he come to arm. I said Baba Glama is going to make an address soon, I believe, of course. Mm -hmm. I could, okay, there is like more uh, NPCs you can talk to. We actually need to convince. Please leave me be, my father's gone, leave me to moon. Gulichacha is lame, and yet Vauk Gluma and Bo Kana still fight for our nation? For us. Hera, uh, if they will speak, the least I can do is listen. Okay. Is anyone, anyone else right here? No. Da -da -da.
I'm guessing down there. Yep, there they are. And again, the sea is definitely has been dead waste, but we can only spare so much time for mourning. Only by looking into the future can we overcome this crisis, and we all need to do our part. I know that Wukla and Wokana will share similar sentiments at their address. Ah, there. It's not safe here, any not anymore. I could try to leave Tural, but where else do I have to go? Uh, wow, really? What's up with these like stupid like bot stuff and such? Uh, it is actually got an order account. I'm guessing it's not even like a just like a bot, but it's like a like a stone account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look like the welter resort. Please, I can stay here, but I fear nowhere in Toral is beyond the enemy's reach. What if it lands across the salt? I know, I know. Even if we ran, I know I'd regret it in the end. I love Toral. This is my home. And I know the Dawn Zones would give their lives to defend it. Lives to defend it. I put my faith in them and listen to what I have to say. Good. Stop making me run all over the place and chase after you just so you go there. Alright. I need to go for food and medicine as much as I can when what else is there. I can't for go um afford to forget anything. Sorry miss, but I'm busy. Too much to move to too little time. There's no telling when those stone men renew turn. I have to get out of there, find somewhere safe. Well, Wuglama wants to speak to us? If she has a blend, um, I suppose there's no harm in hearing what she has to say. Mm. How many more do I need to find? Another three. Sting resident. We can help this work. I'm just gonna skip the release now. Just more, like, just more of the same. Got a point by now. I really need like, to find the third one. I don't see any here. Ah, right there. He's up there. Mm, and 
yeah, nice, nice fitting ninja glam. So I just uh, see like nice games. I'm just check them. <laughs> Always good to like get a bit of inspiration for glams. I'm usually just like trying to find like grams for myself on my own. This is whatever valuable and what looks good to me at least. It looks like we brought quite a few people. Thank you. I see I had actually returned ahead of you, but upon hearing that you were still out there, she decided she was unsatisfied with her own efforts and left again. <laughs> My apologies for involving you all in two worrying affairs. Is everybody having your friends in need? Having traveled the lands of Tura, sharing which cultures of your people, I can see it no other way. What's more, Zorja and this army pose a threat not only to Tura, but to the star as a whole. We still stand with you to protect what you hold dear. Thank you. I don't expect you have had much, if any, rest. How are you holding up? I'm fine, thanks to all the encouragement from Tamamo. You needn't worry about me either. What I worry on is, I fear, is no match for my desires to protect my people. I restore the peace to the nation and preserve our father and preserve our father's legacy. It begins by speaking to the people from our hearts. Right. We need to see to a few things first, but feel free to go ahead to the plaza and wait. Mm. Also, the lighting in this area isn't so good for cutscenes, I would say. Your father raised him well. That they did. That he did. Baku Chacha is also among the crowd. Lamachi, are you all right? Yes, don't worry. Mm. I'm ready for it. The fear, and sadness, and anger, everything. I am the reason to your resolve. But more than that, I am your brother. You needn't bear this burden alone. As you likely already know, my father, our former Dawn servant, lost his life in the recent attack. <laughs> he challenged the enemy leader to a duel and fought with skill and valor. And for a moment, he believed he had won. But a 
wielding an unknown power. His foe returned from death and struck him down. I could only watch as this happened. I could not tarnish my father's honor by interfering. Many of you have suffered terribly. You've taken wounds. You've lost friends and family. As vow of resolve, I failed in my duty to protect you. Words can't express the shame and regret I feel. And as much as it pains me to reveal this, the enemy leader was none other than my brother Zoralsha. Zoralsha? It's true! I saw him! We believe he staged the attack from Yasulani, which has been encased within a mysterious dome. I know that you're concerned for your loved ones there as well. But mark my words, I won't let Zorodja torment us any further. Our father gave his life to protect our nation, and I'm prepared to do the same. You say that, but those metal monstrosities are still up there in the sky. What are you going to do about them? The enemy is still on our doorstep, and waiting for them to strike again accomplishes nothing. That's why we're going to strike first. We are going to take the battle straight to Zorolja and put an end to it all. And while my sister sallies forth, I will take charge of the city's defenses. Not another soul will come to harm. We swear to you. Like our father before us, we will lead with resolve and reason to restore peace to our nation. So please, have patience and faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the resolve goes on the attack, while reason shores up the defenses. Sounds like a fine plan. Sure, this will be part of the defense. Needless to say, you can count on my sword. Dural's my home, and I'll do my part for it. Here, here, brother. That makes two of us. Uh, or, or what was that? The two of we? Ah, never. <laughs> Come on, Paco Chacha. <laughs> what of the rest of you? Will you let others do the work? Or will you do your part and fight? <laughs> we fight. We fight. We're two Leolins because we're united. We'll stand with you and weather the storm. He's right. This is our nation, and it falls to us to protect it. We'll fight too for Tuliolan. Me too! Me too! We're all together in this! Babu Jaja, actually a good wingman when it came to this one. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We've already learned much about our foe, and we will continue to learn more. In time. We will have the means to make their warships fall from the sky. When we join hands with our countrymen and our allies from afar, we're stronger than we dare to hope. Together, let us show the enemy the might of Tuli Yolal.
You are the beating heart of our nation. Each and every one of you. I actually do wonder if they actually can understand him from like way down there because their voices are not that loud really. Uncertain days lie ahead, but for now I ask you to persevere, to go about your lives as you always do. Only then can we ensure we have the resources to see our nation through these trials. And when the time comes, we will strike. Toliyola will not fall. We will prevail and peace and happiness will be ours again. Right, it's a people, people are cheerful again for now. And hopefully motivated. I was reminded of my time in the first. While the Exarch was no king, I often found myself speaking before the people of the Crystarium in a like manner. And through their deeds, they answered me. The people of Tural too will rise to the occasion, this I can tell. And we get some boots! Why they didn't equip it? That's why I didn't see anything. The boots are actually okay. Usable. Depending on like the die options, I could uh, see like mm, usable for some clams. The hour of departure is at hand. Those of us remaining here shall accompany you part of the way. I, for one, would like to see the dome firsthand. Is it forward as soon as everyone is ready? I will inform Muklama that. There you all are! Ah, Lama G! We're just planning to call on you. Are you ready to leave? I am. See many people will come together as one, knowing they haven't given up hope. That was all the encouragement I could ask for. Mm. Right, um, let's get going. We are leave from Shura, uh, Jacques Dora's Sky Gate. Mm. All right, bright on post was it? Good. The rolling there is just way easier. Everyone's here? Good. This is it, my friends. We go strike down Zorata and secure peace for Toriola. We're passing through Sholani, where there have been reports of enemy movements, so stay sharp. Oh, there are a lot of like airships up here. The landscout had told me about them. They emerged from the dome in quick succession and took to looming overhead. A display of force, like the vessels in Tuliola. Indeed, and while they haven't taken any aggressive actions, I want to see how things are in the area before moving on. 
We were passing a few settlements on the way to Sharoni Station. It's a perfect opportunity to look around. In that case, Tamuno and I know a few locals who can help. Let's see right into two groups. And we'll, Alice and Tamuno will come with me to inquire with the locals. Meanwhile, the rest of you can go and inspect the dome. Also, once everyone has finished, let us reconvene at Sharoni Station. We can start with Fusatari. That's where the dust watch is based, if I remember correctly. You do! The Sheriff Kameka should be able to tell us a few things. Mm. And I do wish I would get actually already be able to fly now, but nope. Game says no. Also, I actually just noticed I completely ignore the alpaca keep here. Oh no, the gemstone trader, actually. Yeah, true, there isn't actually an alpaca keep here, this was just like the one area. Oh, it's you two. And I'll be. Wow, Wuklama as well. You're a sheriff of the Dust Watch, yes? What's the situation in Usatavi? Well, the enemy hasn't tried to pick a fight with us yet, which just gave us a shock when they first appeared, but they've just been floating there, holding position. That said, I've received some unsettling reports from elsewhere. We've been investigating to the extent we can, but we're spread thin and haven't looked in um, Shishin Resi Springs yet. Apparently, mechanical soldiers were seen in the vicinity. What? If this is true, then the people there are in danger. I worry about the other townships as well. If the rest of you could get, head to the springs, I'll pay a visit to Mevatsu Hetsan. I'll come in the iron well. See you in a, in a while. Okay. Yeah, we can just teleport there. There wouldn't be so many icons in the way, but hey. And I'll clear this away. Um, Chocobo. <laughs> well, we are talking Chocobo now with four legs. The mechanical soldiers don't seem to be in the area. So you should talk to the locals. Let's each make rounds and see what we can learn. Alright, alright. I actually can go inside this building, I guess. Okay. What do we have here? We're the one who helped us the other day. Ovlika and the others are out, are out investigating. They've confirmed that uh, Nito, Nito Kvye is safe. It was after the train had begun its journey back there that the dome appeared. So those who were riding on the train are fine, but we don't know what's become of those who disembarked in Yasulani. <sighs> what a mess. And just after we finished fixing the tracks. Okay. An unconscious mechanical soldier. Alright. 
We've been making a show with no sign of life. It appears to have been run through with a polar. Estenian! Of course! Tell me how you came. As you can see, we're doing alright. After the ships appeared, this guy's soldiers was clad in white, showed up and surrounded the town. But out of surprise and relief, a traveler came along and dealt with them all in a flash. I'll never forget the way he sold through the air, spear in hand. Shame I never had a chance to ask his name. We'll say thanks to him, but I can't say the same for those in Yasolani. We haven't heard from anyone there. Open oh, the Mika as well. We heard about the spearman as well. That couldn't be anyone else. What's this? Someone spreading more gossip about me? Talk of how I saved the town travels fast. <laughs> Let's not to discount the help of my friend here, of course. He gave those machines a real beating. I thought you'd come sooner or later. Do you know what's happening? So you were indeed the one keeping the people safe. Thank you. Think nothing of it. The automata are particularly strong. But are the rumors true? Gurujaja is slain. I'm afraid so. Gurujaja so used some dirty trick to get the better of him. You make him pay for what he's done. Mark my words. You're going to help, I assume. Is he? If you're contingent, you won't lack for strength, in which case I will retain in Sholani and keep an eye on things. That helps us more than you know. I sent word to my brother before we set off. If you find yourself in trouble, don't hesitate to contact Koana. Koana? Brother? Wait a second, you're the Wow of Resolve? I am, and you as a Koa, right? I'll be counting on you to keep everyone here safe. Absolutely! If more of those hollow men show up, I will send them packing. I'm the fastest gun in Sholani, after all. Tamamo can attest to that. Get to it. You leave Sholani in your cave of the hangs. Let's get patrolling right away then. Stay safe out here and don't do anything reckless. Here's the words, eh? Just what comes naturally. <laughs> <laughs> At least he knows. At least he knows. Right then. As I say, it's time we headed to the station and join the others. And we actually get like the next Efo current crest. Yay! That means as soon as we're done with the MSQ for this area. You can fly. Just let me do this one quickly. So we got a person to find some around here. Ah, there he is. Oh my bad, she. Oh, oh. 
Okay, that was quick. Also, the dome in the background looks really cool, not gonna lie. I like the aesthetic of it. Hello there, random player on your dragon. We're wrong. We're back. <laughs> Thanks, Estinian. There were no casuals to speak of in Shaloni. The Tsar were safe as well. At the very least, there are no sightings of soldiers there. What's about a dome? Do you learn anything of note? It's composed of exceedingly high concentration of lightning energy. To even touch the barrier would prove fatal. When approaching it, we must exercise our caution. How are we supposed to get inside? As so Oldra and his army emerge from within, there ought to be an entrance. An entrance, you say? If so happens, he might have an inkling where one is. These are the engineers of Jacques Tua Railing, which operates a train between Jaloni and Yesolani. And we went out to recover the train, we had uh, ourselves a look at a dome through a telescope. It was when we saw it, a large fortress like structure that looked like straddled the dome's edge. And telling us part of it inside, and part of it is outside. That seemed to be the case, yes. But we only observed from afar the soldiers were coming and going from it. From that, I would say it serves as a passage between the outside world and whatever is inside. But as you expect, the area was heavily defended. It won't be easy to get near. I'm guessing it will be our next dungeon. Do you know what became of the passengers who went to Yasolani? Uglamas nursemaid was among them, a woman named Namika. What? I'm afraid not. Only those passengers who were headed back to here are accounted for. I can say for a fact that everything was fine when we arrived in Yasulani. But when a big tram was struck, not long after we left the station, they had emergency brakes and looked back, and all I could see was the dome. What's more, the fortress sits right on the tracks of all places. What are the gods of that, eh? Assuming this fortress serves as a means to pass through the dome, you should first determine how we are to reach it undetected. I don't care if we are detected, I say we smash our way inside. To decide how it sounds, I actually gave it some thought. So Jar wants me to prove that I am far less worthy successful. If I fail, he will destroy Tuliana. Not really. It's not this one I wanted. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna time out all of these. Thank you. Bye. That was actually a new account. By charging in head on, I make my intentions plain as day, and in so doing, keep his eyes on me. A bold strategy, I like it. Of course, your plan will be no good if you cut down before reaching the base. But I need is something that will get you there, quick and break through the defenses with a single decisive blow, and we have just that. 
Since the tracks go straight to the fortress, we can reinforce our train with armor, load her with fuel she will carry, and send her hurling at it to explode on impact. Chief, have you gone insane? You were just saying how relieved you were that the train is one piece and now you want to turn it into a bomb? The train's not important. Our team was to have railroads running from coast to coast, remember? If these invaders have their way, there may not be any more railroads, let alone trains, to run on them. Is that what you want? Of course we don't want that. This is a sacrifice we have. These good thoughts are willing to put their lives on the line to get inside a dome and put a stop to all this. The least we can do is help them. But chief. Listen, no matter how hard things may get, no matter how many times we fall, we can always get back up. As long as we are alive, we can always build another train. So have faith and quit your complaining. But if we fall really, really hard. There's no getting up if you're dead. No one's dying on this train. I'll see to it myself. Needless to say, this will be a one-way trip and we need to jump off at the last moment if we don't want to go out in a blaze of glory. You're right with that. There's no changing my mind, just there. <laughs> I like the plan though. Just promise me you will be careful out there, honey. And you keep your wife safe, we promise. Oh, to do that. Can't start a family business without her, much less a family. Uh, be a lie to say the loss of the train doesn't concern me. But with good friends and my loving wife beside me, that's all I really need in the end. Well, at least it will go down as a legendary train that saved to all. <laughs> True. <laughs> that it will, but first we've got to work to do that we'll look the part. I don't know much about market help, but if there's anything I can do to help, you need but say the word. We keep that in mind. If any of you are willing to and able to lend them, there's work that needs doing over at the storehouse. Guess we gotta prepare a bomb. A driving bomb. It seems we have a path forward. I believe this is a good time for me to return to Toriola and inform Khan of the situation. Shall return as well. I have new investigations to pursue. The dome's elemental aspect is similar to that of the gate in the Golden City. If we can identify a connection, we may learn something of use in our fight. It's one mystery after the next, but at least we are not without glues. It may not be easy, but I know we can go through this together. Even, uh, um, even only just having met them, I can see how important the train is to uh, Riga and the engineers. You can't let their sacrifice be for nothing. 
<laughs> putting Vance into locomotion, fitting description for the quest. Well, I have no objections to the plan itself. I have one concern. How can we be certain the Raja will not strike to Liola in retaliation? I considered the possibility, but when my brother told me to come and prove myself, he meant it. He wants to show that his kingdom is superior to Toriola and it will give him no satisfaction to attack when he knows I'm not there. No, he will be waiting inside the dome, waiting for us to challenge him so he can crush us and prove his strength. Indeed, if anything we are more likely to put Toriola in danger by not taking the fight to him. The indulge are all dry, at least until Toriola has shoulded up its defenses. Right. We charge in from the front and keep his eyes on us. During which time, Koana will find a way to fortify Toriola. If we believe this is the best course, then we shall trust in your judgment. I expect there will be no small amount of enemy resistance, but we will do all in our power to assist you. Thank you. Well, time is of the essence. Let's go and see what's left to be done for the train. Right. Hmm. Looks like the work is getting on the way. We're finishing no time at all. So what can we do to help? Mm, no need to hold back. As I understand, the two of you met your fair share of craftsmen during the Rider's Succession. Would you happen to know if you would be willing to come and help us complete the modifications to the train? Of course, what sort of craftsman do you have in mind? Let's see now. I already know who we will bring. That's my current concern is keeping the train safe from enemy attacks. Even if you're all aboard to fend them off, I'll be over in an instant if they manage to get us one good hit in on the Ceruleum tanks. According to item is it, the soldier used lighting based weapons, so I might to install crowning rods. Would you happen to know a counter who could handle that? Hmm. You could ask a fellow with a fetish for formalities. <laughs> 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 you mean Wookie Will? Oh, he has his croaks, there's no question his carpentry. A master corner for no Kano, eh? If you'd be willing, we'd be able to, uh, we'd be glad to have them. But we need more than just a carpenter if you want this done in a timely fashion. We've got a lot of equipment that needs moving. Heavy equipment. I don't suppose you know anyone up to the task. Perhaps the rural can help. This would be perfect. We'd be hard pressed to find folks stronger than the Yokoi, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. Your friends with the Yokoi? Are we damned? We're not one for strength with help like that. Next, I'd like to outfit the train with some powerful weaponry of its own. Like as not, the soldiers will be riding their flying vessels. We need countermeasures to deal with them. That's true. I for one can't use magic, nor am I handy with the firearm like my brother. Any ideas for ranged weapons we can use? Oh, everyone. Let's install blisters on the train. Big ones. Blister, eh? Well, they would be powerful, it seems, um, it seems to me it would take too long to reload between shots. If there's some sort of ballista that could reload quickly, then that might work. But weapons aren't exactly my field of expertise. Perhaps I can be of assistance. The Crystallium employed a fury mechanics for its defense, and I see no reason why the design cannot be adopted for your train. But I did not conceive them myself. I know their design. It should be possible to build them here, provided we have the requisite materials and skill smiths. Now that sounds like something from Fontaine can help with. What are the materials we need? 
The barrel can be fashioned from any metal, as long as it's highly conductive to evil. The power, uh, to power the cannon, we require fire aspect crystals for the highest purity. Fire crystals, eh? Might be, might be as a minus over the springs can help with that. And if I could leave the crystals and smiths in everyone's hands, I should get starting drawing up the schematics. Right then, as a curious the smiths. Maybe I could deal with the materials. Chancer is in charge of our supplies, so it might be good to talk to him about it first. Well, I think we set for a plan. Thanks for the consolation. Now let's get a strain dressed up and give them the proper farewell he, she deserves. Of course the train is a lady. <laughs> At least for them. <laughs> the plan's coming together. To make God's beat, I'm going to try and enlist some help from among our friends back in York Turel. Also, I wanna drink something. Wait, I don't know how to open these stupid bottles. I'll leave the materials in your care. I think there's a chance over to the southeast. Let's see what he would want from us. Let's win a flame for the armor. What else do we need? What's up? I didn't see you there. What can I do for you? If you can, it's interesting. I have an idea where we can get to contact with metal, so I'll take care of it. I'm not sure about the fire crystals, though. It might be best if you spoke directly with a miner. Can I leave that to you? Alright, let's take care of that. Oh wait, did it? I didn't mean to move it, but okay. Your friends are Yada, aren't you? One of the best miners around. If anyone can get the fire, uh, the crystals you're after, it's her. Hmm. Come on. Brings you around these parts. The purest fire crystals, you say? I think I've heard tell about them before. What was, what's that about? Ah, hot commodity. No, remember, it's a rural analysis. You can find them to the south of town. They actually ingest fire crystals and keep them in the gut, if you can believe it. If you want the purest crystals, though, you have to go after the oldest, toughest analysts. Nothing you can handle, right? I'll show you where you can find some to hunt. Look forward to seeing why Ariel thinks highly of you. I'm still just a mere healer, but sure. And I really want, like, this every current give it to me. Are you keeping it from me? Hmm. 
There's quite a lot of fiery wildlife in these parts. A few fingers due to the cerulean, but no one can say for sure. Still, it's not often that you see the bigger dominating sword, and that's what you need. What you have to do is hunt down a few of that kind. Establish yourself as a threat. That's known to throw out the leader. That's the spirit. Ray on down there, keep watch nearby to make sure no helpless turtles come stumbling in. That would be good, actually. Mm. Let's get my jugal bar out. Bye. Yeah, that should be fine really quick. Also, why is my pixel not out? I just, just notice it like now. I have no like healing the entire time. Amazing, you dealt with the beast in no time at all. You need a crystal to rule to Shenza. I see that he gets it. Alright. These fire crystals are for the train, aren't they? I heard about your plans to enter the dome. I want to thank you for going to such lengths to stop these invaders. And now um, you'd crumble if you knew I was asking this. Please take care of Anish Pia. Anyway. I'd best be on my way, and you as well, in case you're going to meet her. I saw Buklama heading to the station. Alright. And let's head back to the station. We could have just taken the crystal ourselves, to be honest, because, yeah, but hey. One less stop for us to make, I guess. Bye bye. Shazza told me you got a crystal swim. Good work. I've just returned from looking for extra help. We've seen a moment who answers the call. <laughs> I will be in readiness for them when they arrive. Damn it. I'm out of for a moment and all I can think about is my home. Keep your chin up, Ronville. You'll be on our way soon and we'll find your mother. 
It'd be good to see her after all these years. There's so much I would like to ask her about her time together with Papa. Oh, should I talk your ears off? Once some other stars, there's no stopping her. <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way. Right, let's return to helping where we can. The real works begins when you, the extra hands arrive. All right. Big group, definitely. Figures are making a check here. To be honest, I wasn't expecting so many of you. Since I attack on Julia, I had been wondering if there was all I could do to help. So when I heard about the upcoming operation from Valkuana, I leaped at the chance to do my part. Peace will be restored, and then we can all enjoy a nice cup of mezcal. This is our home, and we do whatever it takes to keep it safe. Oh, that's a swift effort to you. Highly wonderly good follower does the same at the capital. I'm truly grateful. With all of us working together, there's nothing we can accomplish. Let's go to it, my friends. Yes, so let's get to it. Okay, what's up with the sudden change of music? Even, they get, even like the goblins can craft themselves, interestingly. Or they are just like hellbands. So I guess they can like do... Uh, like preparations. All right, everyone, that will do it. We've done our part. Leave it to us to finish mounting the armor and cannons and have yourself a hard earned rest. Thank you all again for answering the call. All right, for fangers now, where we need help, just give us a holler. We need, we must all do our part when our nation is imperiled. Yeah, here. We love Terrell, and we love you, Waulu Plama. I love you all too. Your kindness and goodwill will not be in vain. This I promise. Finally, thanks again for all your help. Wouldn't have been able to finish so quickly if I were you. Go and dressed up, friend. Won't be long before the train's ready. 
can finally fly, so let's uncover the rest of the map first. Also? It's more of like a simpler map, but it's a pretty looking map. This look like it would be like um, the arena for like a special hunt. Or for... Um, this dummy practice thing for like the raids and such. Can you actually like see anything through like this uh, tunnel? Or is it just like a black void? It's actually barricaded. <laughs> ah, it's, it will actually be a loading zone later on for the near other area. Uh, then let's teleport down here. So I'm guessing the Golden City itself will not be an area for like at least for the main story part of Don't Trail. So since we like had like um, one of the reflections for like the story part for like 6.1 to 6.5, I'm guessing this could also be the case here later on that we like after we've done, uh, we are dealt with um, You know, the Zora Jar and the stuff he's doing here. Then we then head over to the other reflection. And I'm guessing, like, our post and Walker story, we're mainly like having to deal with the other reflections. I know that it can't fly no higher. Though these airships can fly higher than me, sadly. <laughs> but hey. Well, also before we continue on and ram like the terrain into like the fortress uh, in front of the dome, we do another short turtle break here, so. Be ready, gag. Burp. Bella Moy, though. I'm back. Let's crush a train into a fortress, I guess. When we hold up, we won't stop working till the train's ready. With any preparations, nobody could time to see to them. The boarding call will come before you know it. Already done my preparations, we can definitely go ahead. just about done with the modifications but i have to stress that we cannot afford a test run <laughs> i figured it's fine we understand and accept the risks we have faith in you and your craft you sure everything will go to plan with all the hard work everyone's put in it couldn't be otherwise Let's go for it. Finished at last.
Oh, I like this. Where was the cut again? Buffalo head. Behold, the pinnacle of locomotive yeah. engineering, the Don Blazer. <laughs> Amazing. It looks yeah. interesting. She's been fitted with wooden armor and a crystal grounding rod to mitigate the effects of lightning. Naturally, we had to overhaul the engine so it could handle the extra weight. <laughs> I also had her outfitted with the ferric cannons, the better to contend with enemy forces. And as they're modeled upon those used at the Crystarium, I can attest to their potency. <laughs> All right, Grant. So, what do you reckon? Given the tight turnaround, I'd say we did a damn good job. True. Impressive. Definitely. Let him try and stop us in this. <laughs> Glad she's to your liking. I hate to let go of such a beautiful piece of machinery. But I know you'll give her a proper send-off for us. <laughs> she will go out with a bang. Literally. At the risk of spoiling the mood, we should probably get moving. Yep, you won't get far if you let them pummel you from the air, but you'll be safe enough once you reach the tunnel. In that case, I will conceal the train with a spell once everyone is on board. It should last long enough for us to reach the tunnel unnoticed. Nice. Right. So everyone, are we ready? Ba, ba. We've done all we can. Rest is up to you. I won't let you down. That's all what we've been writing for. I guess we already passed the tunnel. Yeah, we are. I really do have actually do, do, uh, gotta do any gameplay stuff here or not. I guess not.
You got you. You got your back. <laughs> She's actually like reflecting them for her ex. This worked out fine. Oh, that was too close. <laughs> Still alive, Erinville? <laughs> Mostly. I guess a bit too much for Erinville, but hey, you pulled through. At least he can actually like say he fought with us for once and not just like stood back. At last, the enemy stronghold. We should hurry before they can regroup. Let's go and find out what's inside. Mm hmm. Definitely eager to know. Of course, it will be a dungeon. <coughs> mm, we're gonna do it with other players again, though. That was quick. Uh, okay, I just can repair it inside. is actually trouble quite a lot right now.
They're actually taking a lot of damage though. And a mystic test. What is this argument about? Tank is actually like really taking a lot of damage. I'm not even sure what he uh, was referring to with like high level.
funny thing though is, the one who's complaining I'm actually even on DPS. <laughs> <laughs> and she is the DPS, but hey. I'm not gonna say anything to that. <laughs> Not bad, actually. I am not paralyzed. And because of these walls. I ran right into the Herodotus wall. I didn't really like check to um, check what the bomb actually does because I feel like you can actually like get rid of it in some way.
Okay, let's see this guy on the road. Give him the Fey Union. I'm not getting anything like I need. I haven't gotten any like armor from one of the dungeons for my healer. None at all. Wait, who are you? Such a serious breach would be allowed, but it ends now. Ophidian Outrider Sender, the Sneak Scanner. Redeem our honor with your lives. Taking a lot of damage. I mean, like, he's going down really quick. What's next? I'm guessing he's arrived. Yeah, or smart. Call on the soul of the serpent. Huh. Yeah. Okay. It's next, you know. Fitting name, I guess. Ah. 
I see. It's how he holds his sword. I didn't really pay much attention to that, but yeah. So already are left. Yep. Mm. Also, I'm gonna quickly like open the doors. So. The heat can get out of my room. Yes, before you ask, opening the window would only make the heat worse, I can tell you. It's like, it would really make it worse, just because it's just as hot outside. <laughs> there would just be more heat coming into the room. What greeted us? was not the home that I had left behind. There was no mistaking we had reached the Yasulani. And yet... It was wholly unlike my memories. The lands of my childhood had changed beyond imagining. Hmm. To where had I returned? We tread on, the darkened skies above a mirror to my heart, clouded with fear and uncertainty. How bizarre. Bizarre is quite fitting. This cannot be Yasulani, can it? Chaktora Heritage Found. Okay. This will be our last area.
too far away already. I was prepared for something strange, but this is like another world. I don't understand. Land of Leven. Yeah, also a fitting name. It doesn't make sense. The tower was at always there. No, definitely not. Nor the walls over there. The material is not something you use in Chua. It's closer to what you saw at the gate of, to the Golden City. Those mechanical soldiers. Such a magic structure couldn't possibly have been built in so short a time. But it could have been transported here. Then I'm inclined to assume we have been transported into another location? Or perhaps... Well, speculations were the not. We need to learn more before we can draw conclusions. Let's take a look around then. A look around we shall. Walking around with the Tsukiyomi wolf would actually be quite nice, fitting the atmosphere, to be honest. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take his example. Uh, uh, I'm gonna use it on the jeans board. It is quite fitting for the area. Doesn't make sense to join it. This looks like a train station, doesn't it? This must be Yasaruni Station. The passenger is disembarked. Perhaps we send someone to talk to. Let's go and investigate. I don't even want to cover this like a method though. Oh yeah, this happened now, this is just like God. Um. I got only one more minute to go for this. It actually gave me the gold. <laughs> Dumm zum Schreiben. Ich lasse es einfach. <lacht> just like. Was for a reason, just was like. <lacht> I'm laying over, over, over the keyboard and I try to type. I just like. Just live with me. <lacht> So it looks like there's no one here. Also, I should check for uh, evil currents again. Last area, we already have to do that. 
I'm sure this is Yasolani Station. But from the state of it, I'd swear it was abandoned years ago. I'm not sure what to make of this. We should look around a bit more. Let's see what we can find, I guess. Get out of my way, Chocobo. I just want to interact with this. Ah. The building is a rotten husk. It has clearly been many years since anyone lived here. That shouldn't be true. Road tracks are heavily rusted. Would seem they haven't been intended for to, for a long while. This should be impossible. So what is like this temporal distortion? Find a train turntable. The thick layers of rusty chest it hasn't been used in years. Again, shouldn't be possible. Finish poking around, have you? Let's gather everyone then. I want you all to look. But take a look at this. Some of the mechanical soldiers. Long since broken, apparently. But I would say it's present confirms this indeed soldier's domain we are in. What about the rest of you? Did you learn anything? So all the evidence suggests this is Yasalumi Station. I have no doubt we're in Yasalumi, but I don't understand why these buildings are so run down. They were completed barely a year ago. No new structures to deteriorate and, and the enormous ones to appear in the flesh. If I don't know better, I would say time flows differently here. Is such a thing even possible? I've encountered this phenomenon before, as it so happens. Though it may be difficult to believe, our world is one but one of several. In some respects, they are similar to one another, but in others, wholly different. You call them reflections. Simply put, the rift between dimensions causes them time to flow at a different pace in each world. While hours pass in one, years may have come and gone in another. But this is Yasaluni, then we should still be in the source. The flow of time should be synchronized. I'm not sure if I follow all this talk of reflections and dimensions, but if Ernest says this is Yasaluni, then it must be. Your village is a little further along, right? But then it means that time, the flow of time isn't synchronized to the source, but to the reflection, which is like taking over this part. Aaron will. Oh, uh. Yes, it's a short distance to the northwest. Let's head to the next time. When we have a talk theory, it's always better to confirm things first hand. May I be of assistance? Mm. It's the function.
Oh. It doesn't seem to be hostile, at least. Perhaps we can ask her some questions. Can you tell us where we are? I'm able to confirm credentials. Please present it as an identification. I'm able to confirm credentials. Confirm. Confirm. Seems it's wrong after all. Too strange by half. Let's leave it and be and get going. Are those lightning rods? I have one suggestion already. We can identify with Cryo. Would I come in for a moment? That's something I wish to investigate. Of course. Cryo has originally been a citizen of this world. Yeah, this was reminded you, um, reminding of like the Thunder Blades, actually, in like uh, Final Fantasy X. Look there, the lightning appears to be drawn to the pole-shaped structures over yonder. The design suggests there's a man of lightning rod. Let's go and take a closer look. So, uh, compass northeast. So we're close, so let's check. Wait, is it, don't tell me it's on top of the bridge, please. up there. Good. Okay, the next turn is like further north. I'm not go there yet. Spirits. Okay. Right here. This metal appears to be the same as it used in the mechanical soldiers and warships. On closer inspection, it appears to bear the fine etchings, with a reminiscent of arcane runes. They suspect they are not merely decorative. I would posit its use to harness lightning as a source of energy. Quite impressive technology. I will share this observation with his daughter, for a blessing the dome doesn't appear to interfere with link birds. Thanks for company. Let's head to the village and find the others. I guess it's right up there. Oh, no, it's actually down below. I just jumped down from here, I guess. This looks like ruin. What in the world?
My home. It's in ruins. But why? W what happened here? And where is everyone? I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all! None of this makes sense! Excuse me? Are you looking for someone? Ah, we've seen her before. And I know the voice actor from other games. <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, I did have reason to keep to the shadows. Sorolta has told me a great deal about you. Sorolta? Greetings. And welcome to the realm of Alexandria. Alexandria? I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Queen of Reason? If you are the Queen of Reason, is there perhaps a... King of Resolve, probably Zoraja. Yes, if you mean to ask if there is a King of Resolve, Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. Then you are both behind the attack on Tulihyola. And I doubt you're here to offer us a warm reception. No, you have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. Zorulja rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. In truth, we are at odds, he and I. It is at considerable risk to myself and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. Our aid? I'll admit I cannot imagine King Zororja is keen to share and share alike, but if what you say is true, you're still the queen. Indeed. But I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. Until one day, he appeared, bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen, and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions along with the knowledge to use it. Which was a stupid idea. A gamble, to be sure. But if it might spare my people... If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days. I've never heard of your realm. And this place is... or at least was, Yasulani. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances weren't. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know! 
Yep, we demand answers, so give them to us. I realize how confusing this all must be. Truth be told, I don't fully understand it myself. What I can say is that one day, people from your Tuliolo suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolo. Until but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? How, after the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the Source unto the First? Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Hmm. Well then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. Indeed, more than I dared hope. In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. Mm. A number of the Shatona live there as well. Perhaps your acquaintances are among them. Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides... Ah, oh, you're right. <laughs> Queen Spin, before we go, Your Majesty, I have to ask, did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulihiolo? Noble Wook Lamart, shall we dispense with the formalities? I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zorolja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Toliolo. So he alone is to blame. No, I may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about you, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting your people. <laughs> That's how we, have, how we have been rolling with the right of succession, so this is how we're gonna continue with Alexandria. So what do I do? I'm wondering, is this like a Final Fantasy IX reference? Because all of like the space and time shenanigans would fit um, Final Fantasy IX with Alexandria, and considering that um, the Jasper Summon Idolon, how you want to call it, um, or the primal beast in this case of Alexander, was deeply connected with it, and it does have space and time skill shenanigans and stuff so there might also be a connection to alexander here <gasps> wonderful if you would follow me mm. Is it all for the queen to be walking around alone? <laughs> Is that concern or suspicion? If 
things should take a turn for the worse. Might I call upon your aid? Uh... <laughs> I jest, of course. But you do strike me as the most capable here. I do like her design, though, in the outfit. She looks really cool. If any goes without saying, but you're not going to trust her just like that, right? Anyway, you look at it. A mysterious girl repeat out of nowhere proclaiming herself a queen is suspicious. And on top of that, traveling alone. Well, having established that we should be wary, we could use some information. So let's head to this place, the outskirts, and see what we can learn. Perhaps as well seeing as well. Of course it's the outskirts, but we're just going further deeper into this area. Actually right into its center. Not where we would imagine the outskirts to be of all places, but hey. That might be the outskirts of the town. And a bit so. Probably up on that rock. Can I get up from here though? Here I can. Just put it through, just ignore me, thank you. I trust you have some uh, farming facilities in Toro. They're completely different from ours. I've got no idea what all those machines do. You set around this approach after some try and error. Do you already have their own methods of farming? Which do you want to continue employing? But the environment makes it challenging. There's too much rain and not enough light. Thankfully, we use the Electro has allowed us to fortify the buildings here. As well as provide in nature cannot. Electro what? Electro. It's a material we use for mirror devices and applications. A topic for another time, perhaps. If you would follow me, we are nearly to the outskirts. Is it already the where it is? There it is. And to the rest is a big wall they can't go through, so yeah. doubtless find much of what you see in Alexandria strange. The traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar. her here I wonder the Queen has come you 
look well, Paquine. And Katonye, I see you've already taken to your new position. When she introduced herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Lamachi. Mm, I'm kind of curious what those like things on the earth actually are used for. I'm kind of guessing some kind of mind control, to be honest. Me? It's only natural for a ruler to love her people. And I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them. Who they are, and what they've built. That's it. Beautifully put. And it would appear that she is well loved in turn. Your Majesty, <laughs> you honor us with your presence. And who are these fine people? Tuliolol's vow of resolve with Lamart and her companions. They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people and are to be treated as my honored guests. The rumors of a link to the outside are true then. Rook Lamont is still so young. Oh, where are my manners? I am Popone, a leader of sorts of the people living out here. Popone? That is a ton of walk and to it. Right you are. I take it you hail from this region as well? Teshpiani, perhaps? Yes, I do. I don't suppose you know a woman by the name of Kafkiwa. Kafkiwa? Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. Oh. Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. You know my mother? I do. Yes. Then tell me, please, where is she? I cannot say. Not here, but I promise I will in due time. I have a question, Pepone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? Uh, the barrier? Well, um... I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble. There was a brilliant flash of light. And then... Forgive me, my recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Papone. After 30 years, no one could blame you for not remembering. Finally, no... The difference in time. 30 fucking years. 30 years? As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoraljar's military base was completed and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. Huh. 
I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. I also pointed the line out that it sounded weird. 30 years. Little wonder Zorolja assumed our father had already passed away. It's not unlike how time passes differently in the first and the source. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalents. Perhaps the same holds true here, and time flowed faster within the dome. I cannot say for certain, but I strongly suspect that to be the case. And based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. If we're to be certain of anything, we need more information. Sveen, would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. Mm, all right, more talking Time with people. Time to see what we can see of Alexandria then. And its people. I may yet find familiar faces among the survivors from Yasulan. Even if I don't understand the half of it, I would learn more of this place before we confront Zorolja. Perhaps you'd care to see how we make our living. Though we have always prided ourselves on the use of traditional Tonawatan farming methods, the use of electro fuel technologies has led to countless agricultural innovations. I would join you as well. Ma'am, please, you needn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble at all. And I promise not to cause any manner of distraction. Hmm. Reassuring words, or they would be had I not heard them countless times before. <laughs> Very well, but do be careful. Of course. I shall proceed with the utmost care. Now then, if you two would follow me, we can begin the tour. Okay. I can't say that I trust her yet, but I trust that her affection for these people is genuine. And that's enough for me. I also wouldn't fully trust her yet. She still is hiding stuff. And there's still so many oddities. Electrope has done much to improve the efficiency of the farming, but hasn't replaced everything. The people wanted to preserve their old way of life, and we did not want to force ours upon them. We into such language so that our cultures could coexist, even going so far to learn our tongue. I'm sure everyone appreciated it. Communication was thankfully not an issue, for the Turai tongue is surprising and similar to Alexandria. Of course, there are words and phrases for which there is no equivalent, but those can be taught with minimal effort. Through mutual respect, understanding, and patience, we Alexandrians and Turadi have learned a great deal from one another. And I'm sure there's much you wish to learn as well, so please, if you have questions, do not hesitate to ask. Rather than bore you of lengthy explanations, let us head back to the farm we passed earlier. If you press Halo, it is called, we can speak with one of the farmers when we arrive. Yes, we have to you with Halo. Did you? I don't think I did you to you for idiot and such. Uh, we're going to use 
is good on it. I'll do another short little break here because I need to go to the toilet again, but I'm gonna say I'll be right back. Boom! I'm back. I'm back once more. So yeah, let's actually like explore a bit more of Sanjay, I would say. I still wanna like figure at least figure out at least there's a bit more stuff about what's going on. Before we will, yeah. Soon end the stream. I won't, uh, uh, yeah, we won't be like going for that much longer. Now we turn to the two Mahu. Mahusa, one of the most experienced farmhands in all of Alexandria. She serves in weird farming techniques. Indeed, the wealth of knowledge she has shared with other farmers is what has allowed this place to flourish. Good scene. To what do I owe this sudden shower of praise? My apologies for the interruption. I am come with guests from beyond the barrier. They wish to learn more about Alexandria and so I invited them to see how our crops are grown. I do hope that's all right. The rumors of visitors from the outside were true. I mean, our host would we be to deny them to look around, and I gave the emergency also intended to check on things here. You know me too well, Mahuasa. Mahusa. I forward to seize this opportunity to see how the farmers fare, and perhaps pepper them with a few questions. Do they do so enjoy observing and taking part in the work too? It will be we have permission, so please walk the grounds to your heart's content. You wanna it? I keep seeing company. I don't misunderstand. I'm not a suspicious type, but given our positions, it would make sense for us to go around together, wouldn't you say? A fair point, but be sure to not let me out of your sight. I shall remain under Buklama's watchful eye. Where you can find us when you've seen your fill and spoken with the other farmhands. Okay, now let's talk a bit. Oh, just an enemy opens to us. Nice. Big Perry. They're saying that you and yours are restored from beyond the barrier, that's true. So it is, which means we're connected to the outside world again. But I have decided to leave, mind you. Can't contend with the live here in Alexandria. But settling is that aside, you're here to observe our work, right? As you can see, I'm in charge of livestock. Here at Tubes' Halo, we produce not only fruits and vegetables, but also meat, poultry, and eggs. Tending the animals is an absolute joy, but I have to be careful not to grow attached. It's always a little sad when they are shipped off, but a job is a job. Well, I need to get back to it, but it was nice talking to you. Please give me regards to the Queen. Oh, an unfamiliar face. I give it as your first time inside then. Well, this here is the storehouse, or rather the entrance. The real storehouse is underground, uh, much more spacious and equipped with a temperature regulation, uh, regulation system to keep the harvest from spoiling. In San is so small, it's much easier to prevent wild beasts from wandering inside, which also makes it a available facility for breeding and raising livestock. Got a few beds down there for emergencies. I've heard often so complain about how they under technology and electro complicate our lives, but it's just a matter of learning how things work. 
Tango top, for instance. I'm presently up there, using the storage of harvested crops. To be taken up to the tower for processing, and from here, find a way to every dining table in Alexandria. The work is hard, I will not deny, but I take great satisfaction in what we do. Sweet. Also, I'm gonna drink something because my mouth is getting really dry. Hmm. I always appear to be fine. As for the power source. Hmm. You wish to know about my job? I tend to the fields, mostly, following the crops, keeping the soil fertile, and so on. It admittedly took some time until I fully understood how best to carry out my duties. I also manage the lambs we use, the fi use in the fields. We do our best to keep everything up to code, but should they ever start on a function, it's up to me to fix them. The land in the sky being that they are, ensuring a rich harvest makes for constant work, but honestly, I show how involved the process is. With my parents being Alexandrian, I didn't grow up knowing much of anything about farming. Every day is an opportunity to learn and grow. I see, don't be too hard on yourself. Anyone would have been hard pressed to deal with such a thing. Oh, I come back. My apologies for failing to notice your return. I gather we've had to fellow speaking with the farmers. Then let's return to Mahovsa. Well, what are your impressions of the farm? Mm. I'm amazed that how everyone loves the work, really. A curious observation. Do you not love your own work? Oh, but I just. It's true that the people of the house seem to the most fulfilled. Always they take to their duties and good cheer. And what do you think of our little tour, Lamati? What did you call me? Was it inappropriate? My apologies, I heard the others call you by that name in a fort. No, no, it's fine. As I said before, we are no, no need for titles and formalities. As for my thoughts, I was very impressed. The machines could be used to overcome so harsh an environment is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. The feeling is understandable. Indeed, many still find the machinery behind me baffling. It's a system that controls the distribu distribution of water for the fields and livestock. It's been acting up lately though. Acting up, you say? You needn't worry, my queen. It happens fairly often, but simply it's taking in water that had a strong lightning charge. I think some creatures have become charged up with the energy and they are releasing it into the river we use as a source. The system would want mm, return to normal if the creatures were dealt with, but I'm reluctant to back it for, for the army. We could take care of it, if you like. This is the most crashes for you to offer, but it's much too dangerous. Oh, it's not trouble for the wow of resolve of Tully or Lel. Regardless of how the relationship between our nations may develop, if there are people in need, I want to help. Simple as that. The town was even stronger than I am. It shouldn't take us long at all. Then very well. I gratefully accept, but please take all care. 
Without a go even faster, if you and I search for lightning charged fiends on our own. Good hunting. Which days after we got recommended to take care, but hey. The fox pub next to me, just on a roller, trotting there. Connect box kid. Also, its name is a bit bugged out because of the roller. <laughs> Interesting. Can't. Come on. Why does it have to be like a full solid hitbox? Not even able to do any damage to me. Like any proper damage, I didn't lose one HP. You're both alright, thank goodness. We really needn't have to worry so much. We barely broke a sweat dealing of the fiends. They're all gone now. Of course I was worried, you my dear guests. But thank you. We truly appreciate this. Indeed, with this we won't have to ask the Royal Jazz machines for help. He has been making a concerted effort to boss his forces, sparing but affection for the people's protection. Thinks nothing of our safety, unlike Queen Seen. That's enough, I would say. If you have grievances, I will hear them later. But to speak of the king now. No, she's right. He has never been one to look after his people. Anyway, thanks for letting us tour the farm. The folk here are delightful, and it was a pleasure to meet them. You couldn't have favored us for, for more uplifting words. My people are a bright and joy. And you never fail to let us know. Know how much you care. Of course, you're my precious family, all of you. You seem a good sort of thing. That I will admit it. But you forgive me if I'm not ready to lower my guard for the enemy queen just yet. <laughs> For you to be called that, I tried to imagine that villainy your majesty had committed. Come now, this is no laughing matter. 
A ruler is responsible for the welfare of countless of lives, and one wrong decision can lead to unfold, untold suffering. Failure is incon inconscientable. Inconscientable. Now I believe we are done with the farm. Let's move on, shall we? We have to head back to the outskirts. I dare say your friends also have returned by now. Well, thanks again for dealing with the fiends. Come and listen to us anytime. I do wonder why no one of them has actually ever questioned these devices on their head yet. This was like one of the first things I would have questioned Sveen about, but hey. Like as soon as we arrived on outskirts and saw every one of them wearing them. Do you hear that? Do I hear what? What's happening over there? It's nearly time. Time for what, I wonder? I'm glad you could make it. Queen Sveen has come to see you. Yes, mate. Everything is going to be all right. What's the matter, dear? It can't be. That's the bangle I gave to Namika. You know her? Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. Is it... Is it really you? She must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us it was perhaps days, but... For her... Namika, it's me! Wuklamat! I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. Has she no more soul cells? She always used hers sparingly, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Ma'am, the ushers have arrived. Hmm. I'm guessing the soul cells is also what they extracted from the people in Toliala when they invaded. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Be not afraid. 
Your memory will live on in us. Living on in memory, the giants share a similar belief. Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There, we will ease her burden. I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her. Is there any way I might stay with her for a little while longer? We may not share the same blood, but she was my mother. Please. Let us give them some time alone. This will also be an interesting thing how they will deal with like people will be 30 years older when everything will be like resolved later on. She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. It's not the end. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. Between what we have witnessed and the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants, it's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. Specifically, the displacement of Alexandria from another reflection to the source. It does seem the most likely explanation. What perplexes me, however, is the scale of said displacement. It far exceeds what could conceivably be achieved with a void gate, or even with the crystal tower. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. Which invites the question, how was such a feat accomplished? I wish that I had an answer for you, but this talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. <laughs> I can only tell you that we lived peacefully under the barrier's protection for many, many years. Until the day that peace was suddenly broken. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. Probably one of the calamities. The barrier was erected to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. I see. And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents by means unknown. In other words, Skeen's as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Turali. And the Turali didn't mean to end up with the Alexandrian people. And 
at least from our perspective, be like fast forwarded by 30 years. Ah, but of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep. That tower over yonder. But I feel like, I think Galoof might have something to do with erecting that barrier, maybe. Since Galoof. Oh, did, he, did, did Galoof actually cross over or did he not? Yeah, but it might coincide with that time 20 years ago. When they like passed Cryo over to the to the source. Once you have been registered as my guests, you will have access to Solution Nine and its residential district, where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's state of affairs. Unfortunately, I cannot take you directly to where Zorolja resides. That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zoralja do as he pleases. But we're not talking about a simple difference of opinion here. I've come to avenge my father. And to do so, I intend to take Zoralja's life. Are you willing to stand by and allow Alexandria's king to be slain? A fair question. Permit me to answer it thus. My people come first. Their welfare is paramount. I will do everything in my power to keep them from harm. It is a ruler's duty. Now, I am off to register you at Everkeep. It may take some time, but you shall find the entrance open to you in due course. Hmm. Oh, and ere I forget, your mother, Kafkiwa, might try the Thunder Yards to the east. The Thunder Yards? Is that where she is? I'm afraid I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards and all will be made clear. Well, let's see. It's not as if we have other pressing business. Not until we can get into this Everkeep anyway. Thank you for earlier, and for being a friend to Namika these past 30 years. It means a lot to me. Why are there so many of these spamming this? Uh, just time them out. I will re also just spam them. There you go. Namika? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you mean. Okay, this literally confirms my theory that they have their memories been tampered with and that are being mind controlled. We were just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. I don't mean to give offense, but I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud.
Huh. Any person seemingly forgotten without reason is probably there, in the cloud. Oh, I really must be getting back to work. If you'll excuse me. At least it do have an explanation for the people why they lose their memories of people suddenly, but why is it not any one of them buffering? Like, why is it not buffering any of them? They're just like, boop, you deleted some of your memories. I would totally not be happy with that. Not at all. And it makes like this all this thing of like with like in the in memories you will be like still living on it makes me question that phrase a lot more uh, like see of seeing what's going on how could be born eh? suddenly forget about namika it's as if he never knew her could the same thing have happened to the others as well i wonder I don't want me to find out. Let's make inquiries about Namika in the area. We can reconvene after the uh, Evil Ride. Right. Right. Uh, let's try to find out. I don't know the person. Okay. Hmm. The house doesn't remember. But I'm not saying much, just saying that I don't remember it and you have just a plan to read out the dialogue. Hmm. Okay, they remember that they took care of someone, but not that it's not that the person was called Namika. But I'm still, uh, still wondering where like Urion G and Fangrid are like they've been this whole time. They should still be on Toral themselves. So it's the same for everyone. Not a single person remembers Namika, except for a memory who has been purged from their mind. That such a thing might be done with magic. To the memories of so many at once would be a tremendous undertaking. You would have had a search of ether corresponding to the act too, in a sense none of that in the moment. Neither did I, but I did notice something else. Right before Pepone seemingly forgot, the light in the device on his hand, uh, head began to blink. Could there be a connection? Someone else said something about soul cells. But who might we ask about this? If we continue making such inquiries, I expect we could only cause confusion. Indeed. If we can't really solve the mystery about Amika, perhaps we could search for... Um, Trakuya instead. Sphine said uh, to try the Thunder Yards. It should be in this direction. What is this thing? <gasps> Impossible! Hmm? 
We're in a kind of mechanical soldier. It looks dangerous. You better destroy it. Uh, uh, I wouldn't want to try to destroy it. Should we give chase? Let me guess this is Kafkuya. I think it uh, understood our words. It might be worth asking it some questions. Error? Uh, all right, all right, you look like the scene of ghost. It's nothing. I'm fine. Well, if it went off in the direction we had it anyway, so let's try to track it down. I think this will be like the last thing we'll do, like, to uh, track down this thing and see where the story takes us with that. But... Everkeep, I think she called it. Uh, we will take... We will like do that another time, and also like solution nine and ring that place. Southwest, actually, yeah, that was uh, past the gate. We're just gonna head straight to the east. I like this on effects for it. You found it? To the northeast, and it must be bound for the mines. Come on then. It would be well be a trap, so let's not rush in too quickly. Hmm. Curious. Straight to the north. In the mines, I would guess. A faint voice has come from inside. So it's not alone. But we're still going in, of course. This might be a trap. We're ready for a fight, everyone. Uh, I doubt that will be a fight in there. Okay, that one's already reduced. Alright. I can hear them several people up ahead. I can take out a conversation with that going. Let's keep going. Stay on your guard. Hello. What is this? Ironville. Uh, a trap. Oh, 
I like your vocal reaction. I just have to get a look at you in the light. I can still hardly believe my eyes. But it is you, my darling Elizabeth. My darling, what now? Fast a little bun bun. <laughs> Why the long face? Are you happy to see me after all this time? I know that laugh anywhere. Mother? Wait, wait, wait. Since when was your mother a weird floating thing? <laughs> and what have we here? Say, aren't you Guru Jaja's kitten? We're ready for your trust, but okay. Appearances notwithstanding, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. I'm sorry? Oh, this won't do. Come in, come in! Friends of my own Ashpia are always welcome. All I ask is a little forewarning, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I thought I was starting to get a handle on this place, how are things still getting stranger? As far as I can tell, this is indeed my mother. I can think of a few people in the world quite so spirited, but as to what's happened, we don't need to ask her. That's what I definitely want to find out. Gone and forgot. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. It's so wonderful to meet you all. Oh, why is it not wise? It's too soft by the Destion. It's been a while since I heard that name. There is a reason for your appearance. Oh, it is? It's just a body that I control remotely. I use this for our operations. We are members of a resistance organization. Oblivion, we call ourselves. And our goal is to force our just ambition for conquest. As a leader, it's prudent that I remain where I can't be easily found. I see. Your secure appearance understanding. Yours is a serious cause. Right here, truth be told, Oblivion was founded for an altogether different purpose. And that is... 
It's expected if you already know this. Everything you see with the stone, the buildings, the people, the very earth beneath our feet is the fusion of two worlds. Stubborn Excessive Fusion was Oblivion's original mission. Then does that mean you know who or what is responsible for it? I'm afraid not. This was a long time ago and our original statement has become more of a legend that's passed down to members. By the time we joined, also objective was to bring Sora out there. But he failed to do that. And now he's taking his army outside the dome. None of you wear those strange devices on your heads. Does it have something to do with your work? You mean this? It's a regulator, the pinnacle of electro technology. And, w and that we don't wear, it is indeed related to our operations. What exactly does it do? Allow me to explain. Regulators have two primary functions. The first, as the name suggests, is to regulate uh, is the regulations of the various reserve of salts. Should a dime, the regulator expends a soul to bring them back to life. Reserve? You mean people walk around carrying spare salts? They do. Souls are packaged in cells and they can be used to replenish the life force that is lost due to sudden death, such as in accidents. They do nothing for those who die of old age, though. Distributions of soul cells is based on one's work evaluation to encourage exemplary performance in fulfilling their duties. So they really look for work for uh, getting more lives. Like more respawn opportunities. Assaults as a common resource and payment for services rendered. The void sand practice of consuming others for the evil comes to mind. And similarly, I expect that the egg act comes with some risk. When the conscience of others corrupt their own. That is rendered through memory management, a process in which regulators also play a role. Memory management? Then the reason everyone has forgotten Amika's existence. The regulators are constantly recording the memories of their wearer. So if they should suddenly die, the memories can be refreshed as part of the restoration process. This is how they preserve one's identity and sense of self. However, the regulators are also triggered when someone else dies. Reason being the, is that regulators forcibly extract memories relating to the deceased from anyone wearing one. Why would you do such a thing? It is a kindness bestowed upon the people by Everkeep's core system, so that no one has to suffer the pain of loss. So this is what I mean, meant by their memories being in the cloud. Indeed, our memories of the disease are ripe from the minds of the people and archived in the system. 
It's a frightening function of the regulators, an integral step in soul cell production. You see, when a person dies of natural causes, their soul is temporarily housed within the regulator. It's then delivered to a facility where memories are separated from the soul. The sword is a fresh soul cell, free of impurities, ready for distribution and consumption. Meanwhile, the memories are stored in a core system to be remembered forever. And this is why people are happy here. On its surface, it's similar to the Yorkui's philosophy, but I see nothing noble or comforting in it. Well, it doesn't seem so terrible to me personally, but comes down to what you're used to, I suppose. Like the barrier encasing Alexandria, the system was created to overcome the calamity that transformed the world hundreds of years ago. Amidst the mounting death toll, scientists used Electrope to devise a means to save what lives they could so the nation could endure. And as then the people of Alexandria did what they believed was best to save their people, I just find it hard to believe the two Raleigh would also accept this way of living. It comes as a shock to us as well. In fact, a great many were opposed to it. Which is why the use of regulators was never compulsory. The people have always been free to go without them if they so wish. Sphina didn't strike me as a sort of ruler to impose a rule on others. Ah, so we've already met. She's the one who just suggested we come to the Fundy Yards in the first place. She also said she wanted to help us stop Soraja. I'm very kind of her to point you in my direction, and to speak so candidly as well. Whatever her motives, she has given the people a choice. Live for the risk of true death, or the securities of the regulators. Everything that li lives must someday die. That is the nature, natural order of things. Quite right. But however you feel about them, it would be easier to understand what the regulators are capable of if you saw it for yourself. I know just a person to show you, and as luck would have it, they should be starting work right about now. Who are we going to see exactly? Come with me and you'll find out. I'm guessing Namika. We're gonna follow that a bit longer because I'm getting curious about what, where this is going.
Everyone here? Good. It is the responsibility of the front yard hunters to fell any fiends found one in the area. We are to meet an acquaintance of mine, Streaker, one of these hunters. Let me just get up here. Oh yeah, what are you doing here? And with so many friends. Apologies for the interruption, but I was hoping that we might observe you at work. Honey, you mean? That's fine, I guess. Hold on, I assume they were wearing special regulators like screen screen scrum, but they aren't wearing anything, anything at all. It's much more dangerous to be here without one. What if they're struck by lightning or attacked by beasts? I can assure you, they are all quite capable of looking after themselves. If anything should go amiss, I will take full responsibility. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. Dangerous side, there isn't really much to see. I would say you are a hunter, but wouldn't it be easier for those mechanical soldiers to guard this place? It would. It would for the fact they are weak to lightning. The funny yard being what it is, they have been ordered to stay cle steer clear. Some good they are, eh? But these facilities are vital to the upkeeping of Alexandria's infrastructure. So if... So it all falls to hunters like me to deal with any fiends. Given the danger, we are well compensated for our work. It's a perfect profession for anyone looking to build up savings. The special selection of souls for hunters is terrible evil. I brought us a lot here to see this danger you speak of. It's not too much uh, trouble to ask. Yeah, of course, in which case I'd be shame to waste my efforts on just any old beast. You all can end yourselves in a fight, right? If you cause a ruckus slaying what could you see nearby, there's a chance you'll try out something worthy of a demonstration. I'm not sure I understand, but I suppose we should each slay with what we can. So if they to told to stay clear of this region, why right? there's still some in there here. Okay, the next one is like so far away.
There's more. Looks like we do. This one will do nicely. Where have you? That's fine, Radium. My face rules. Just watch. I don't like the look of this. Let us help. Oh no. Look out! Ah. Yep, so much for that. Do you have preserve? She will just revive anyway. She is healing. Nope, not yet. Nope, we did not. And we won't. <laughs> it's not like the first time we've seen him revive, so come on. That was embarrassing. The master called me off guard. Are you mad? Seriously, let us help. I told you not to worry. This will only take a moment. Just like the wild term. Come on, let's get out of here. That's also a function of the regulator. I 
I think I understand now how Zora Jar was able to return from the dead and defeat Papa, but I'm not sure what we saw at the end there. As soon as the regulator turned red, it was as if we were possessed. Your movements became beast like. Don't tell me you powered yourself with the soul of a beast. I'm reminded of the 17th soldier we encountered at the Vanguard who did the same. So we've crossed paths with one of the king's elite. Such a form can only be achieved from go watching yourselves on swords. We could do the same, in theory, but it's incredibly dangerous. Besides, it's not as if they would allow hunters to carry them that many souls uh, to begin with. Well, I should be getting back to work. Take care. And there you have it. Regulators can be loaded with two kinds of souls. Those of peoples and those of beasts. The souls of people can be used to grant the user preternatural powers. Naturally, they can also be used to ensure no one suffers an untimely death. And what about the souls of the beast? They work much in the same fashion imbuing the strength of the chosen animal. If, for example, you used the soul of a wolf, you would grow more agile and feral as a sour of streaker. Using several of the same time at once, however, would result in physical changes. Your teeth might become fangs, your nail, claws, too many, and you become more beast than man. Driving in some form through the souls of other beings, it becomes more and more reminiscent of Void Sand. Yet unlike the Void, where the cycle of death and rebirth is simply broken, souls here are forcibly taken before they might reach the Euphrates Sea. Different means to achieve similar ends. Cycle to which all within the dome are bound. This is wrong. This is all wrong. It is indeed hard to accept, being so far removed from our own beliefs. Perhaps more shocking is that the technology to achieve all this was developed hundreds of years ago. The civilization in the reflections are surprising indeed. While we all have our own thoughts and souls, for now the important thing is we know what power Zorja has at this disposal. It is one thing to separate corporeal evil from incorporeal evil, but to strip memories from the soul entirely is an unprecedented technology. Mm. This is no longer only Toriola's concern. With his newfound power, Zorja has become a real threat to the entire world. Indeed, it has to be stopped, no matter the cost. Since you're also getting like um, actually like a chapter of the story, so to say, done here. If like the main story itself is considering this like story chapter, then I would say it would be a good place for us to stop here today. After like seven and a half hours. So Let's check if any one of the people uh, are you sure follow us online so we can rate. If I'm proud of it, I'll mark my prick like that as. <laughs> mm. There it is, one online who's playing Final Fantasy XIV, so we can give her another rate. So, yeah, let's give her another wait. Mm, I'm gonna go for the dashboard. There we go. Uh, and 
We're gonna read. Wasn't following. Here you go. So, as I've already said, this is a good place to stop here for today. We'll definitely be continuing on on another weekend for probably not a lot of hours. But yeah. I feel like we are somewhat getting close to the finale of the story. I mean, in the last region, we are at level 89, so we should be getting close. And I do hope we actually get close, because this is taking quite a while, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect it to take so long, but hey. That is, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching along as always. And support as well as feedback is always appreciated be nice over in the rate treat the other streamer with care and be nice and i will see you for me um we will see each other next time until then bye bye <laughs>